Hey, y'all. Good evening. Come on in, grab something to drink, pull up a chair. You know what time it is. It's time for another rip-roaring and rousing game of D&D. As always, let's introduce you to our casting characters. We have Jeremy Bigham, who plays Ignolan Duskwalker, our ASMR Order of the Profane Soul Blood Hunter. There's Riley Ellison, playing Ren Tanaki, our human Way of Shadow monk. Ryan Kelly, playing Ribaru, who plays our Aarakocra Hunter Ranger. There's Andrew Simmons, playing Ashan, our Kalishtar the Celestial Warlock, along with his pseudo-dragon familiar, Triel. We can't forget Daniel Langdale, who plays Zephyr Arion, our Air Genasi Time Domain Cleric. And then, of course, there's me. As always, I am your host and DM, Caleb Durham. I play the character of Slate the Great as well. He is our changeling College of Eloquence bard. So without any further ado, let's kick this game off as we welcome you to Homebrew. fellers so when last we played when we left off y'all had just fought two not one but two of the deadly ascends um and y'all were caught off guard by at least one of them being a a deadly sin gula who y'all had affectionately begun to call mama mama gula turned out to be um, the the sin of uh, gluttony. What a twist! How y'all didn't get that when she was stuffing y'all and y'all was like couldn't fight because y'all were so stuffed. I don't know, but <laughs> uh, I mean hindsight's twenty twenty. It's true. Hindsight is twenty twenty one. Hey, I it's it's I hid that right under your noses. I know it's too obvious. <laughs> It's too obvious. Now, uh, was, to be to be fair, the one time with combat where we were like drained, we also did everything we possibly could to stay out of combat. Yeah, <laughs> true, that's true, very that's true. true. What if we just make an illusion of we here and not like it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, but okay. So last time y'all also emotional went- damage. Yeah, where, you yeah. <laughs> where there's so, a will, there is a way. <laughs> So last time, um, we also, y'all went back to the wizard's hut and Alex's hut, and he uh, gave you some information on overcoming uh, Ashan's predicament as well. Y'all did that before y'all ended up fighting the the two uh, deadly sins. So... At this point, um, y'all loaded y'all loaded up into the cart and y'all head off down the road, and that's where we left off. Um, at this point, everybody should have leveled up. Um, mm-hmm. I did. I told y'all after we stopped streaming, but level up if you didn't. But we still haven't like regained all of our hit points and our spell slots. No, you can now because we are. You, you, I'm. We're gonna jump ahead at like at least eight hours. Okay. I mean, cool, y'all. You're you're gonna have been traveling. Take a day long rest. Yeah, this we're so, at level eight now. Seven. Seven. You, you tried. Cheater. You tried. Ah. I'm still at six. I was hey, like, man. Uh, see where we're actually at. 
All right. So there, if y'all exactly where we left off was after the battle, there were some tensions in the group. Um, Slate would he left the battle. Um, Ignolin was questioning whether Slate is like good or bad or what's going on because um, the purple tiefling had said something that made him suspicious of him. And then when he left the battle, he had gone and talked to uh, Zephyr. And Zephyr came and talked to him. And he was like, y'all just wailing on people and y'all holding people down. It didn't look nice. And uh, so this is some different tensions that were kind of going on at the time. It did look uh, really nice. So we'll pick up from that from there. We've been riding for a while now, probably in <clears throat> silence as everybody's probably very exhausted, um, trying to get your, your strength back, your energy back, and uh, because of the tensions. So I'm going to say well, for the most part, we've probably been in, in silence. Um, I do remember that uh, Rabaru, is back in his cage as well. Mm-hmm. DM, I have a question. Um, whenever I cast Sending, is it in my head or is it out loud? Uh, what does it say? Let's look. I've Says, always imagined it being. You send a shortened message of 25 words or less to a creature with which you're familiar. The creature that hears it recognizes you. It doesn't say, so I think it's up to you. All right, I'll say this. I think that it is probably a mental-based power, but if you want to do it out loud, you can definitely do it. It's however- I can say it as I think it, it, but I can also just think it. Okay, so before the um, the, uh, eight hours is up, before we have a long rest, I'd like to, as Zephyr's custom, uh, send a message to Serena and just let her know everything that's going on, where we're going, where we, where we've just come from and, okay. uh, checking in on her, to make sure her and the baby are okay. Okay. Um, now she can respond to that, correct? 25 words. And she'll just respond that basically she's okay and she is home now. Okay. All that oh. just to, just to say that Zephyr every night, Sends her a message if he has the spell slots. <laughs> now this is not nighttime. Are you going to wait? Till well, just every just it? every day, just like okay. And the only reason I did that is because you said we had eight hours for up for a long rest. Well, yeah, and, and the reason I say it's because y'all just y'all just had a, a battle, and I'm letting y'all know that you're getting your your yeah. stuff back. But yeah. it's uh, it's still y- y- that was in the morning, so it's yeah, going to be fine. you know that's fine. that's fine evening. All right. Is it is role role play time now? <laughs> so we're are, so we're flying through the air. Is that is that what we're doing? Oh, uh, well, that are we flying? Or are we rolling? Oh, I guess we're. This is like immediately after. Is what you're saying? So, yeah. Um, I, there it's eight af- hours after. We've been rolling for for so we've been going. So okay, we, we could be flying. Um, yeah, I would say we'd probably be flying because I think we have a lot of ground to cover. True. Um, so normal positions in the cart and such? Probably. Probably so. Ren and Ashan up front doing front stuff and. <laughs> doing front stuff. Doing front stuff and then uh, driving don't this don't, cart. Don't, don't look for it. <laughs> Are we in the butt? Yeah, you're in the butt. Doing butt stuff. Doing butt stuff. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> um, yeah, and then Rabar is hanging off the side. Doing side stuff. Doing side <laughs> stuff. <laughs> Around the side stuff. <laughs> All right. So yeah, everybody's Favorite. everybody's in their in their positions. Um cool. What is everybody doing? Um Well, Zephyr feels awkward, so because him and Slade just had a bit of an argument, so a little bit of just <clears throat> not talking. A little bit of 
emotional damage. <laughs> dang it, dang it, Ryan. I'm not, I'm not sorry. <laughs> dang it, Ryan. <laughs> um, uh, what am I? I guess so. It's been a minute, so I don't have Triel. I have no reason to want to bring Triel back yet. Nor what 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 was the state of that? Um, I'm. Mean, you've just been. There's been a lot going on. So okay. Uh, I mean, you have. I will say this. You've been kind of preoccupied with your stone your stone has kind of become more important in okay. some ways but it doesn't mean that you haven't thought about bringing her back at this point it's up to okay. you okay yeah um i definitely want to because i think i've tried many other times and i've just been not successful yes successful <laughs> yeah <laughs> so i would love to try to at some point in this journey all right. Yeah, you could you could easily do that during that eight hours, I think, as well. Does she come back or stoned right as well? Stoned. <laughs> no, no. She's. How she's, dare you? How dare you? Trill's a gym. Literally. <laughs> she come back as a gym dragon. Holy. Sorry. Um. So she is. So she'll come back as her regular self. Mm -hmm. Um. But yeah. I will hold her very closely and because as a way of trying to compensate for not having my stone I will say this if we've been flying for about eight hours there are going to be times when y'all are going to want to stop for breaks mm -hmm. so y'all um, has to pee ain't nobody <laughs> peeing off the side of the way maybe hey, we could try <laughs> no one wants to pee out the back. Little rain shower. Yeah, yeah. Just somebody on the road. Like, just let oh, it go off. The, out of nowhere. Just let it go off the front, and it just hits Rivaru in his beak. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> How rude! Yellow rain. All right. <laughs> Some um, stay dry, but others feel the pain. <laughs> yellow rain. <laughs> oh. Oh God. That was um, a collab with R. Kelly. Yeah. Oh no. Oh. oh okay. No. So let's. Oh, oh no, no no. Let's let's let's. <laughs> all right. So at some point, we're gonna we're gonna need to take a, a yeah a, a land a little land and take break. a land. Um. Whenever we take a land, I would like to take the medicine that I'm supposed to be taking for the stone stuff because okay. I I have to remember to do that. All right. All right. Sounds good. Um, are we going to take that land now? Yeah, I mean, I'm fine with just fast right, forwarding so through the flight if you guys we, are. Let's do that. So, so because I, I think for that, for the most part, everybody probably was pretty quiet. Uh, um, the most talkative person is is not talking right now. That's probably Slade since uh, Rianne is not here. Um, <laughs> so it's he's not talking because he's been kind of he's upset. Uh, after his and Zephyr's little little tiff, the little lover spat, and um, <laughs> the so... in the background. I told you, <laughs> <laughs> just really far off in the distance. Well, that's because I was going to get my heart broken. I knew it. <laughs> and he's jealous. <laughs> um. All right, so. After a while, those of y'all in front, after everybody decides they're gonna have to go to the bathroom, y'all will bring it down. You'll you'll land it. You will have to kind of do like a, a a plane and get your little slow in. You know what I mean? And then you don't have mm -hmm. wheels, but kind of catch yourself because it's not gonna be easy with the cart on his back just to kind of lift up and down. So he'll always have to kind of get a walking speed going up and then also coming down. So he'll bring it down and. It, we land it's shaking all about it's it's not a very easy land but um we get we get tussled a bit and pulls to the side um so that everybody can hop out do they be it's this slate will hop out and he's gonna go 
way off into the woods to do what he's got to do. Um, can anyone let me out? Anyone? You'll let him out. Yeah. I'll let him out. There you go. Thank you, Zephyr. Don't mention it. Are you okay? Who me? Mm -hmm. you, you spent eight uh, hours on the side of a, a car. Just a, just a little cramped up. We're fine though. Looking forward to our destination. And he walks off into the woods to go tinkle. To go tinkle. Who else is still at the car right now? Is anybody at the cart? Everybody uh, went to go. Uh, I'm, I, I wouldn't have gone far. Just Ren's never going to leave Odin's side, so he's there. Just he's peeing, just peeing beside him. him. Yeah. Peeing beside Odin. <laughs> Peed on his foot. <laughs> I mean, that's all up to you. <laughs> you going to guard the cart as everybody goes off and does their, their thing. Are there going to be any conversations, or is everybody just really quiet? Everybody went in different directions. Well, I mean, I know, but in this whole journey, no, we will never talk. Again. We don't never talk. talk again. We, we don't, don't talk, talk anymore. About Bruno. <laughs> um, when Rabaro gets back to the cart, who's going to be there? Just, just Ren. Yeah, probably. Probably. I'll, I'll be back. Like I said, I didn't go far. Just like go to the tree line. Birds pee. don't really don't really pee, or they just have that white stuff. They just fly in the air and just try drop to drop it people on people. With it. Well, Target practice. I'm not going to describe the tree that he got up in and how he squatted to <laughs> drop his stuff, but drop his stuff. <laughs> All that right. on. Got seeds in it. That's gross. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I agree. <laughs> uh yeah ashan went to have some some time hanging out with trail because this is the first time in like a week yeah a long time been... maybe longer than that and then the theme uh, song to how to train your dragon yeah starts playing um, um i will say that rabaro is looking for uh zephyr He's looking for Zephyr. Okay, so he's looking for Zephyr. Ashan's got Trio. I want you to roll an insight on Trio. Okay. Uh, that is a 18. Um, An 18. She's not happy. Yeah, I can imagine so. Uh, I'm trying to feed her extra, like, you know, make up for lost time and plenty of play time. And... When was the last time we saw Trio? Uh, I th when we fought the the giants. Whenever he sent her to his to her death with the giant? Is that, that yes. was the last time? Yes. Uh -huh. I wonder why she's mad. <laughs> <laughs> and then didn't bring her back for a long time. Here, your bait. I'll see you well, in a month. She wasn't supposed to be bait. <clears throat> she was supposed to help and get away. But that did not work out as planned because my roles were very bad. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So as you're feeding her, she's like kind of snubbing the food that you're trying to give her. You're trying to like play with her and like yeah. when you pet her or whatever, she likes the pets, but she doesn't want to like the pets. <laughs> it's like, come on, Trio. You know, you know. I wasn't trying to hurt you, and I wasn't trying to put you in any danger. We've not been in great places to bring you back, and I've been dealing with, I kind of pulled my head back, I've been dealing with, like, all this rock stuff on my face. And... <gasps> she, like, looks really, she looks, like, really worried at first, but she rem remembers that she's mad. She's like... <gasps> <laughs> It's like a like a child. <laughs> um, so I said, I'm I'm really sorry, and I I give her an extra special piece of jerky. 
like special treat jerky. And I do that thing that you do uh, when you have, if anybody has dogs, I do that thing that you do where you just kind of find an open spot and you lay down and they like try to get them to like nuzzle on you a little bit and like lay on your neck or something like that. Lay it up. You demonstrate way. Riley. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> She's gonna have her head kind of turned this way, yeah, uh, away from your face, but <clears throat> up, down your shoulder, kind of. I'm still, I'm still nuzzling her. I'm like, yeah, it's okay. I deserve this. It's fine. <laughs> um, to Ribaru, you're searching for Zephyr. I don't think Zephyr is going to be too hard to find. Uh, no far either because everybody else seemed to yeah. go pretty no, a little bit further away. Yeah, and he's also blue. Um, <laughs> no, it, yeah, I, I see feel people. The Blues Brothers. The two of y'all. No. <laughs> I mean, Rabaro is blue. All right, so I will say that you know you you find him relatively quickly. He's doing his business. I, I find him afterwards, right? I mean, is he? I only had to. Or is he, I only had to. So yeah, to pee. So yeah, I mean, you come up as he's as he's finishing up. Um. Uh, hey. Yes, I am not looking, but well, I wanted to ask you. Awkward. Okay, I'll turn around. Well, I mean, it's fine. Just talk. I seem to notice that you and your friend were very silent, especially toward each other. Oh, wait a minute. A wait a minute. Wait a minute. We've lost Ribari's voice here. What? <laughs> You're not doing Ribari's voice. That's kind of solemn. Yes. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> I'll, I'll allow it then. I, I hear it. It's Same. slight. It's slight. It was just, just, I was like, it's like, it's not, the the, it's not very dynamic this time. <laughs> okay. I'll allow it. Go. <laughs> you want to repeat the question or the sentence? No, just, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> Excuse me. I happen to notice that you and your friend were not talking on the right here. Is everything all right? I'm not sure, honestly. We uh, had a bit of a disagreement on how things were handled back there. So. Um, honestly, I think there's a little bit more to it. Well, if I may, I know that I'm probably not the one to give advice on these kind of things, seeing as that I'm on trial for murder, but I would say that if it had anything to do with the fight, I believe that it was justified personally, I but agree. We probably need to be a little more careful. Like I said before. I we, don't. Uh, let me explain. Sure. I am already going to be on trial for murder. I don't think that everyone else needs to be following in my footsteps. All right. Yeah. I totally agree. We just need to be more aware, be more aware of what's going on if anybody if anybody had walked by and saw us just holding holding on to this lone turtle and just killing him it would not have looked good for us as justified as it was because he is a part of people who massacre slaughter people so I agree with you. Maybe. But have we have we thought about it from someone who has died before 
what it might look like to them. Because if I recall conversations, I believe Slate has come back from the dead. He has. I'm sorry that, uh, I'm sorry for the trouble that I've caused everyone. But, um, I believe that as soon as possible, you should, uh, try to, try to, uh, I don't know, mend what's been broken. I don't think In anything, case anything happens again. Uh, honestly, I, I don't think anything is really broken maybe just a little just a little bruised but um we'll see like i said i think there's more to it than just him i think there's he's acting different he wouldn't have, like we've done worse and he didn't get upset um I think something else is going on that he just hasn't said. Do you think, I know that he doesn't really take kindly to me, but do you think that it would help if I spoke with him as well? <clears throat> I think. Maybe calm the waters before you speak to him? Mm, no, no offense, but, uh, no, I don't think it's a, it's bad for you to talk to him. Just not about this. I think that um, I probably need to talk to him. Okay. Well, I'm just trying to help. No, I don't, don't mistake that for anything other than me just knowing how he is and what, what would be the best approach for him. No, I can't stop you from doing anything. If you want to go talk to him, you can talk to him. I believe I will. And please do not be offended by that, but I believe that I believe that I might be able to help. If you trust me. I think you could Rubari, I hope you don't take offense to this, but it's going to be a little bit of time before any of us, any of us really trust you. Uh, however, I'm sorry however, to hear that because I'm kind of running short on time. At least I feel that way. I'll I don't know, this. maybe something I'll will happen this. and I don't face my death. I will say this. You clearly show remorse, and that's something. No, I don't. I don't think you understand why you what you did was wrong. But there's more that about you that we don't know. So you clearly have your own demons. Well, I just hope to do some good. I, um, yeah, I just hope to do some good. And then Rabar is going to walk back to the cart. All right. Um, Ignalin, do you have anything that you want to do during this time? Um, not right at this moment. Nothing um, in particular. No, I mean, I think that, I think Zephyr and I will, I mean, he has not had any conversations with Slate, so I don't think that there's anything that would, from our last conversation, I think based what's on Ignolan's mind is what Ivandra talked, like Ivandra mentioned and the battle. And I don't think much has changed since he and Zephyr have had their last conversation. So, um, probably just gonna, you know, just hang tight and wait until. Okay. Maybe it didn't. Just... Listen, it didn't even necessarily have to do with any of this. I just I'm trying to give everybody the chance to do anything they want to while they're while we're landed. So. 
Yeah, I'm good. I pee pee. I pee pee. I pee pee. I pee pee. I'm, yeah. I'm big boy now. <laughs> um, I cup. I cup. C U P. Um. Ah. All right. Um. What about what about you? Uh, Ren. So, since we just leveled up, I think it would make sense for Ren to uh, do a lot of meditating since I gained stillness of the mind. Ooh. Plus, he uh, he kind of got his feelings hurt when, you know, talking about his wife and daughter and just, that was not cool. A seven, that one of the seven deadly sins, not not smooth. So he's taking a break. He's he's just kind of clearing his mind and meditating. Yep. All right. Um, Zephyr. Yes. I want you to roll a. Mm, you have a passive twenty perception. I I want you to roll anyway. Is it just twenty? No. Uh. Twenty two. 22. Yeah. I, I was I, I just meant I knew that you had a high one, but I oh. want you to still roll and but I will give you um advantage. Okay, what am I rolling? Perception. Perception. I guess that makes sense since you said about sense. the passive. <laughs> because I don't want it to be on your passive. Uh, I'll take the um, thirty twenty. Okay. So you have been a thirty twenty. You're a bad twenty. <laughs> um. So you, so you'll see that slate because he went way off. He's coming back, but um, for um an instant, when you look up and you see him. For just a second, he doesn't look like he's alone. Is is that all you're going to give me, or is there? Do I get a description of the what seems to be there? You don't see the person. Yeah, you, you don't see you don't see the person, place, or thing. <laughs> you don't see what seems to be there. Uh, you see, because they are uh, kind of obscured mostly by like a tree, mm -hmm. um, but there seems to be something that looks like an arm behind the 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 tree. Um, but then it's not, and it's not with him as he passes that tree, um, and he's like. Like he's he's like he's been to the bathroom. He's like pulling his pants up and everything. I'm just gonna keep my eyes on him and watch, ready for anything. Even though I think I I know what it is. <clears throat> or at least I'm suspicious. DM. Yes. Did anybody hear Zephyr's and Slate's conversation? Like, was anybody close enough to hear it? Um, I think that he had pulled Slate aside, if I remember correctly. They may have been able to hear me say, "I'm not going to be sorry for." For yeah, I said that. You might have heard. Loudly. You might have heard certain pieces of it. I don't know that you would have heard the whole thing, but you probably could have caught enough to know that they were having a tiff and maybe pieces of what it was about. Okay. I just want to make sure that it didn't, uh, it wasn't too meta with what I was saying a minute ago. You're good. All right. So is everybody going back to the car at this point? Yeah. Take the okay. time to stretch the legs and wrap everything up and head back to the cart. All right. And Slate will be bouncing back as well. Right. Um, is it nighttime or like about to be nighttime at this point, or is this like afternoonish? 
It's uh, it's probably around five o'clock. Okay, a little more travel in. Yeah, five five six ish. It's not. It's not too late, but um, it is getting to evening. It is getting to the later end of the day. Okay. Um. Does this seem like a decent place to potentially camp for the night if it's starting to get kind of dark? Um, just like def- looking yeah, around. Definitely. Yeah, you're pulled off on the side uh, in a kind of a, a wooded area. You're, you've landed on like a road and then pulled kind of off. And it's you, there's kind of like some wooden overhang. Um, kind of shrouding you but you're still on the road but you're off of the road you've pulled to the shoulder so to speak so yeah okay. i mean you could easily set up here and and rest for the night okay in what month are we in are we in fire spring or painted breath we are in hold your horses while i get my list well, um, while you're while you're looking at that, I guess uh, as Ashan comes back, and I guess everybody's starting to kind of also come back. He's gonna take kind of take a look around and go. So, who would be down to just like camp out here and not have to worry about getting back on the road for two hours just to stop again? Rabaru would. He does not want to sit in a cage for as long as. He like, can. Yeah, I figured. <laughs> and I'm just like saying it to the group loudly, like as we're all coming back from peeing. Oh. Well, Rabaro says, Rabaro would like to camp. <laughs> <laughs> Does he talk to in third person? He did this time. He did this time. <laughs> okay, Elmo. <laughs> well, Ashan thinks Ashan would also like to camp. Just you know, not have to put a lot of wear on Odin and maybe actually take some time to relax. I feel like we've been going a million miles an hour for the last couple weeks. What say you? Who are you saying that to? Everyone. Like, as everybody's coming back to pee. It's fine. There's no real sense on on traveling when the sun's going to be setting pretty soon so mm-hmm. i just have one request can i please have <clears throat> something for protection in case something happens you Is have he... all of us for protection <laughs> <laughs> did we did we take his weapons away yeah yeah at least at least my quarter staff please that seems fine seems harmless enough <sighs> Um, I guess whoever was kind of keeping watch over him and have that final say, but Zephyr, I guess, was keeping watch over him. I think that was a Sean, wasn't it? I don't know if we ever really established it. I don't know if we ever really established it. Staff materializes in his hand. It goes in the bag. It goes in Slate's bag. (laughs) I'm pretty sure... Ignolin is the one that pretty much tends yeah, to watch. Yeah, maybe maybe, watch maybe it is Ignolin. Rivaru. Yeah, maybe it is Ignolin who's uh, kind of been watching Rivaru. Here's your staff. Here's your <laughs> yeah. staff. Take it. Yeah, Thank it's you. up to Ignolin. Although when you're with us, you stay strapped because you're traveling. We are. The, yeah, you're, you're traveling with us, and we're weapons. So you know. That's <laughs> very true. You sleep strapped. That's what yeah. I, Slate's like that's what I said. <laughs> uh, cool. Then I guess uh. Ashan's going to start using uh, Mold Earth, it's a cantrip, to start kind of making a little fire pit to make a little camp area. Um, Just kind of digging out like a pitted spot so that we can have like a nice safe fire location. And Ren's going to use pick up sticks to get fuel (laughs) for this fire. All right. So everybody's kind of making their, uh, are we rolling out the bed rolls and making, we're just making camp here. Is that essentially what we're doing? Yeah. I think that's what this time. Rebarro okay. flies yeah. up in a tree to roost, but it's right there above everybody else. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah. Um, yeah, and whenever we get enough sticks and everything, Ashan's just going to use his staff, like the fire staff, because it's basically always a million, like, on fire, and just kind of use it to light the fire. Can I can I retcon one, one simple thing real quick? Depends on what it is. I want Rabaro to help uh, gather wood before he flies up in the tree to roost. Oh, yeah, you can say that, that you did that. That's fine. Okay. Yeah. Rabaru helps gather wood before he goes up in the tree to roost. All right. <laughs> yeah, I'll yeah. use my staff of embers to help <clears throat> light it. Like a turkey. <laughs> like a turkey. <laughs> All right. And uh, set up, yeah. And then we'll set up. I'll, I'll kind of also use mold earth to like move some rocks around so that, you know, if we want to sit around the fire, it makes little like seats for us. All right. All this is being done in silence, I'm assuming. Nobody's talking. Uh, I think I, who who was gathering sticks with Rabaro, uh, uh, Sean, Ren, Ren. John's concentrating oh, so it's, it's on it's and Ren. Okay, yeah. yeah. Rabaro is trying to make small talk because he's everybody's been quiet and he wants to talk. Yeah. Nothing really important. He's just trying to talk to Ren. Small talk. What's he saying? I wonder how far it is going to be before we get to our next location. It's been it's been uh, it's been a little while since we had some good food, right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> no. Zephyr's actually <laughs> Zephyr's actually laughing. I don't want good food. Screw good food. If we ever have good we food have- again. We have I, all I of that food me. that she gave us. Yeah, Ashan y'all have a says, bunch of food. Ashan says, Ashan says as he's like making seats and like molding this earth around for places <clears throat> to sit and hardening stuff. Yeah, we have all of that food that she gave us after, before we, you know, had to kill her because she was trying to kill us. You know? uh, yeah, you're right. You're right. I guess I, what I just I guess what I meant was that it was nice to sit at a table and have someone serve us. That was nice. I mean, I until, can until we killed her. I can fix you some food if you want. I can make us a table. Sean goes. I mean, like makes I... a table out of stone. That was fantastic. Slate's as soon as we're done, Ramar go... is going to run and sit at the table. Slate's going to start picking through some of the the stuff that she gave him to kind of um, piece together like something to eat. Sean moves a really big stone, uses that to carve out like a nice flat table, and then gets the gets some smaller mounds of dirt and pulls up a uh, little rounded seating things around the table. Are we making a dining room in the forest? Yep. Yes. That's exactly Essentially, what it's what we're doing. Next to a campfire. It is honestly kind of awesome. <laughs> so... Slate's just gonna pull out um, these some meat. It's a lot of meat, and then he's he. There's like these um, uh, pieces of bread that are pretty big. He's gonna he's gonna get enough for everybody, and he's gonna cook the meat. Um, and he's essentially making like a biscuit or like a big, but they're big, so it's kind of like a burger. But that's essentially what he's 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 putting together for everybody, and he'll kind of press the digitize and make it all taste good and sus and such. And sus. <laughs> I mean, it it might be it a little sus. <laughs> Ashan's it, gonna put Ashan's gonna put a couple pieces of the meat on his stick and like rotate it like a rotisserie, like Korean barbecue style. When we're done, everybody roll a Constitution saving throw. <laughs> Food is not poison. She stuffed you until you, it, it affected you. Yep. All right. So I guess we're all going to chow down for a nice, healthy dinner. And it is it is a good it's a good meal. A meal. It's not the best meal ever, but like I said, he 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 used a spell to make it can trip to make it taste good so it's not it's it's not gonna it's 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 pretty good it's not that good it's a can trip it's a can trip it's not it's it's not gula's food but it's it's decent it's like a burger it's a big burger it would be big it's a they're gonna be pretty massive though so i am famished have any and rabaru eats like a bird (laughs) 
He just got he just ate pieces of the bread. Do that again for me. No, I'm good. Have... <laughs> <laughs> he, he was pecking at it like a woodpecker. And I'm not gonna do it again. <laughs> all right. Uh, so, y'all all right. welcome. That's probably going to end up on social media. <laughs> I have it now. <laughs> oh, me. Oh, um, so I'm not even going to say anything. I have some <laughs> thoughts. I can't say them. Uh, oh, I, you, I, what were you going to say? Go for it. He's pointing oh, no, at no. the camera, but nobody knows. No, no he's pointing started at. to talk. Caleb no, started good. to talk no, and no, then no. I started to talk. <laughs> You go ahead. You go ahead. Okay. Um, I guess Ashan's going to see that every, when everybody's kind of finishing up and go, well, um, I know I don't talk a whole lot, but uh, I feel like we've made it through a lot. And also we've been through a lot together uh, for the last couple months, I think. Uh, how long has it been? Slate and Zephyr since we've since I met you a little over two months yeah that's crazy well, yeah about that yeah that's yeah that's wild um and we don't know a whole lot about each other right. so I think that needs to end right now before we go into some more stuff that might be a little more deadly we've been attacked by all of these marauders and all that kind of stuff and all right i have an idea do we have alcohol um uh, you know i'm looking right now actually <laughs> i will go i'll just say yes okay. gula okay. has we have some from gula let's uh let's play a drinking game mm, let's do it yeah i play with water i will also play with water i don't I don't drink. We could make it. It's a not about. It, I mean, I, the game isn't. It's really more about the game than it is about getting drunk. Yeah. We let's. We can make it a strip game. You take off articles of clothing. Yeah. He's like, I'll start. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Please, please stop. All right, all right, all right. So, um, here's the game. And uh, I cast spiritual weapon. Oh, freaks! But it is in the shape of. Like a uh, like a compass, and then uh, DM. If you let me do this, it'll be awesome. But uh, can I allow somebody to like spin the spin, it? spin the needle, and whoever whoever the needle lands on, you have to tell us something that we don't know about you guys. And after you're done, I guess we can drink because apparently it's, it's a drinking game. Huh? Yeah. I mean, I don't know why you couldn't. It's a physical thing. If you if you make it a so that it can spin. Yeah. yeah. I think it's up to you. Yeah, I mean that's that's fine. I mean, it, like, it, it, you, like it's it's a you, physical you, thing. So right. So but when you create it, you have to make it with a mechanism so that it can spin. But yes. Yeah. I don't think there's any limitations to that. No. So, okay. All right. Big thing on the on the dining table. All right. You guys want me to spin it? Um, Just like Twister. Yeah, it's not spin the bottle. <laughs> oh, man. Spin the conversation. Put his shirt back on. All right, I'll spin it. DM, uh, there's there's six of us. So D6 for everybody, I guess. Yeah. Um, do, you want, do you want to roll or do you want me to roll? You roll. And I'll just roll. tell and just put a, assign a number so to whoever's just, on your screen. It. Let's just do it. So Jeremy's one, I'm two. Slate is three, Ren is four, Rabaru five, Andrew. Oh, Andrew, Andrew's not his character. Ashawn nope. is six. I'm just right. me. All you'll right, have to guys. You'll, you keep you keep track of who's who because y'all are in a different order on mine. Yeah. Okay. So six. And uh, Ashawn. Cool. <laughs> Heck yeah. Um time to pull up some notes, guys. <laughs> Gotta get into some backstory. Um, hold on. So I'm going to grab my, my drink. Uh, well, uh, what do you want to know? Something we don't know. I, do 
didn't know who my family was until recently. Um, thought I was an elf for or half elf for a really long time. Uh, oh, but my adopted family is alive. Sick. Uh, their name is Tran and Fashal. That is news to Daniel because oh. Lizeffer wouldn't say that. But um, yeah, they're Elven, so I just kind of assumed I was until recently. But um, yeah. What was their names again? Tran is the dad, and Fashal, F A S H A L. Are you Fashal? Fashal. F O apostrophe S H O. Fo show. For show. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, yeah. I'll, I'll take a. I'll take a sweet because I said everybody drinks. So. Yeah. So uh, we drink. Cheers. Are we? Are we actually like taking? No, 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 no. I mean, I, I am. I don't have anything to drink. <laughs> nice lime seltzer here. I yeah. don't either. I've drank everything that I have. Me as well. Hmm. Pretty Imaginary sure I, water. Pretty sure I stole this from a very popular D&D campaign. Thank Except you, you, you flavored Is it better. Is this Rollies? No. Uh, no. <laughs> My tea's gone cold. The Rollies Everyone. is fun. I thought Rollies is fun, though. Yeah, this one's this is cool. I like this one better, honestly. So, real quick, before we move to another person, you said yeah. you just recently found out who your real parents were. Well, not who my real parents were. That I wasn't an an elf. We'll say uh, that. Well, what I what I actually was, which, uh, yeah, the what she what called are you actually she called me a um. Shoot, where is it? A man. <laughs> <laughs> Chupacabra. The worst. <laughs> The worst thing he could possibly be. Look like a man. A man. Uh, she called me a a, a, a Kalish star. Okay. Even worse. Um. Apparently. <gasps> apparently, uh, a dream being of some kind, and either my mother or father don't know who, which one is which. Uh, yeah. had me. And who so. is she? Oh, uh, you met her. Um, Rosella, the, 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 the girl... woman from the woman that was in town. Yeah. The and one that, that helped me with every my town stuff. That we ever go in? Yeah. With that helped me with my stuff. Yeah. Okay. She, uh, so whenever I passed out, she, um, was my guide when I got hit and almost died in the cave mm -hmm. where mm -hmm. we found Iglin. Um, or where you found Iglin and I was almost di dying under a rock. Um, I, my, my consciousness went to a dream plane and she was my guide. Interesting. Yeah. Which, because she is also a Kalistar, I believe, or at least some, or at least, uh, something to do with the dream plane. Gotcha. All right. Next, who wants to spin it? I'll spin it. I'll, I'll yeah, spin it. Person I'll that spin goes it. spins. No, yeah, person person who speaks spins. Okay, that's cool. You speak, you spin. The two. That would be me. There you go. Uh, give son. us a little bit of a. Where'd you come from, Zephyr? I look at I look at slate. Like, mm. I'll tell you something that even Slate doesn't know. Because <gasps> there's not a whole lot that he doesn't. Frick. So, I grew up in the Veiled Forest, which is a forest that that uh, is on the border of both Veeden and Fael. Just across the, from what I understand, I, I'm from just across the, the border there. And I grew up among a bunch of elven druids. 
on a pure blood line of wood elven druids. Um, and they were extremely proud. Uh, my mother uh, works on something I don't even understand. Uh, something super powerful. It's ancient. It, it's allowed them to to do things that a lot of people don't have the ability to do. And they're very secretive about it. And I can't say what the name of it is, but because that's how secretive they are about it. I I'm the son of an elven woman and a genie, a jinn. A man wandered into the forest and my mother met him as a teenager and fell in love with him and I was born. And the Corin Guard, which is my tribe, hated me for it. Um, I wasn't one of them. I wasn't fully one of them. And they, to found out when I was 10 that they had told my mother that she could raise me until I was able to not need her, which apparently was 10. She had a choice that she could either take me in exile to be with me or I had to go. And it was my grandfather that told her. So you don't understand, it, it sounds, it sounds terrible but my mother loved her tribe. She loved the corn guard. She loved her work. She loved everything that she, about where we were and what they did. It was her purpose. So I ran away and I didn't let her make the choice. And uh, I traveled for through the through the Vale Forest for about a week, and I finally came out, and there was Benjamin, the uh, human cleric that raised me, the only human that ever treated me like a person. Or at least not something that's some sort of novelty. Okay. History. So your so your dad's name was Ben Jammin? No, that was that was Or your foster father? No, he was he was my mentor. Yeah. Mentor. But he was he was family. So you just left? You didn't even give your mom a chance to like stand up for you? You just. She did try. She tried to. It's not that she just sat there and took it. She, she argued. And whenever, after I watched them for hours and I realized that she was going to have to leave, I saw how broken she was. I, didn't want her to be broken because of me. So. She didn't try to come find you or anything? I didn't give her a chance to. I grew up in those woods and I knew them just as well as she did. So 
she, I could have gone anywhere. And I, I don't know if she tried to find me or not. Hmm. But I just, I know that it was easier if I just left. Well, on a positive note, you had a mom that was at least willing to fight for you, so that's good. And uh, Anna Sean drinks heavily. <laughs> Next! Your turn. Let's roll this thing. Five. Ribaru. I, um, wow, I don't know where to start. Uh, we have two sad stories and mine is not. Um, my father was the head of, uh, our clan's military force, a bit of an army brat, I guess you would say, uh, never did much traveling. We stayed where we where we were uh, stationed, and uh, that's pretty much it. I was trained in the ways of our uh, military, and I was top of the class, both in academics and in uh, martial arts and archery, and... Yeah, and then randomly, not not very long ago, a uh, an elven princess came and spoke to me about um, being a part of a force to take down um, this impending doom, if you would. Um, I really wasn't too keen on it until I saw the the elf that was with her. He seemed very courageous and proud and as if challenging me, I guess. And so I took the job because I did not want to be showed up. Um, and then I began traveling because we only had so much time to prepare. And then I met... Lita. And then I met you guys. And that's about it. Okay, you can't throw out words like impending doom without elaborating. <laughs> oh, I'm glad you asked. <laughs> remember, remember when I killed those guys? No. In the temple? I don't. I don't. You okay. killed guys? Part of the reason that I did that was to not only protect you all, but to protect myself. I was given this task of, of becoming greater, becoming stronger, making sure that I found the tools necessary to defeat this. Um, uh, I, I don't even want to share. It's something, it's a, it's a, oh, goodness. Slate, I apologize. I am not trying to be offensive. <sighs> it takes a lot to offend me, so... The reason that I did not like you at first is because of what this creature is. It, it is a hybrid of a changeling and an Asimar, and they have turned evil. And they have be they have They've been, I don't know, detained, I guess, for some time. I don't really know the full story, but the rumor is that they will be escaping and taking some kind of revenge on this land, Shalea. Um, and I'll be honest, my fear of 
what could possibly come of this land is much, much greater than this trial for ending those individuals' lives. I understand why everyone I understand why it was bad to to take those people's lives as they were being held hostage, captive, whatever you want to call it. But I knew that the, our only survival was to end them before they came for us, and I knew it was because of me. So in doing so, I feel like I feel like uh, I've relieved I've relieved you all and myself of a temporary issue only to create another one. I don't know much about this this creature. I don't know what it's called. I don't know what kind of powers it has. The, the princess told us of, of mind control and being able to control the surrounding area with his mind can shapeshift into anything. I just... Do you have a name? If a creature is that strong, then I, I, I fear for what is coming. Does it have a name? I don't know its name. I was just told it was an impending doom. I can send word to find out whenever we get to the next town. I've already sent word for some other matters. I would, I'm sure they would not mind hearing from me again. I've got to mark off a spell slot. Sorry. I don't know how, I don't, I guess, how do you know that it's a changeling? I'm telling you everything that this princess told us. And if the legends and the rumors are true of what it is, then that, that's, that's what, I mean, that's, that's, that's what I was told. That's what, that's what her and the army that was with her. They had scrolls of all kinds of just writings, and I, there's no telling how old this creature is either. I, I just don't know. Are there many princesses in Shalea? Is that a... I, I don't know. It's she was of, elven. It's more of a general question to the, to the table. We know that the ruler of Anchi is... I don't know if she's elven she, or did we find out that she was elven or not? She's a ruler. She's the queen, right? Yeah. So the queen has a daughter. I'm not from Shalea, so I don't know. Neither am I. That's yeah. Yeah. We're from Shalea. Well, I'm, so from yeah, the I'm not from Shalea. I'm from Wincia. Uh, yeah. It was Anna. So it's Sean, isn't it? Yeah, they're yeah, both from we're both Wincia, from Wincia. Which is a part of Shalaya. You're right. You're right. Sorry. <laughs> in my mind. DM, so I don't have to find it in my notes. What is the what was the, the queen of Anna? Was, was thinking of Veton. That's what I was thinking of. I don't claim this continent. No. <laughs> Screw it. <laughs> Uh, I'm looking back in the notes to try and find the queen's name. Where are you at? Um. Oh my gosh! And I'm a, I'm a part creator of this world. <laughs> You're looking oh for my the, goodness. You're looking we were... for the the queen of Antia. Yeah. Uh, hold on, I'll pull it up. Y'all, we haven't talked about this 
We haven't, we, or we haven't talked to the queen or talked to the king since like August. <laughs> but he's had people following us. That's true. Uh, yeah, that that's who the that's who the guy was. Tiefling girl, tiefling. Yeah. Oh yeah. Um, girl, tiefling. Uh, I'm on the wrong. I'm looking at the wrong thing. All I have is Queen of Zerata. I don't have a name. There is a name. I just can't remember. Yeah, we, she has. A name. Love has a name. I mean, I'm sure. She, I'm sure she has a name. <laughs> I just don't have it in my. I just don't. I have like it that you looked at the camera, Daniel. <laughs> he went, "Come on." I know I wrote it down. I remember writing it down. I just can't remember what session it was. Like I said, we had the conversation with the queen with the king about the trial back in August. Wild pocket. Through that. Uh... <laughs> Wild pocket. Half and slunch. <laughs> he he he. Uh, um, Alira, Alira, yeah. We saw it at the same time. Yeah. How's how's that spelled again? I'm gonna Jinx. O L I R A. Jinx, you have me a coke. <laughs> Alira Fairson. F A E R S O N. She's the queen of what? Zorada. Zorada. Well, yeah. Yeah. The capital is Zorada. Correct. Okay. Zerda. On the continent of Sheila. Um, now, who, where did he, did he, he said it was a princess of, did he say which one it was the, where it was the princess of what? No, it was just an just elven, elven princess. Just an elven princess. That's all he knew. Okay. All this from Rivaru's backstory. <laughs> All right, Rivaru, I guess you can you can spin the, the needle. Oh, yeah. Oh, we got a drink. You speak, you spin. We drink. Uh, question. Yep. What if it falls on someone who's already gone? <laughs> you roll again. again. Okay. Yeah, it's fine. Who was one? That would be Ignalone. That'd be Iggy, me. Iggy, Iggy, can't you see? Uh... I don't know. I know what, what do you guys want to know? Anything you anything that's anything that's good that we don't know. Like, don't don't tell us like you have a freckle on your butt or something like that. I don't. I don't care. know. Like where'd you anything that's anything that's good. I mean, define what you mean by that. Do how about how about you want uh, me to continue this this these tragedies that we've been sharing around the table? I, I never said it had to be a backstory. Yeah. <laughs> so how about who's your family? You got family? Uh, and okay, we're going. What's your favorite food? We're going tragic. Okay. So I just... <laughs> we all have tragic backstories. That's fantastic. Look at us. I take a take a long swig. And I just say, well, uh Ignila. My I guess how I got here and wound up in that cave that you found me in. I, you all know that I'm a blood hunter. Um, you know, I, I had been one for uh, nearly 10 years when y'all found me. Um, and uh, well, that all started when I was 16 on for most of my life it was it was me and my sister for most of my life um there's a sister some things some things happen the, the aethra the air uh whoa, 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 whoa. she was a pause that Lee spell Aethra. That, spell that crap l e e did you say a narrow urethra. <laughs> That's oh rich. God. That's rich. That's a narrow urethra. <laughs> All right, L-E-E. 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 I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go ahead and give it up there. <laughs> it was nice. My time was good. L E E. 
I don't make fun of his non-existent princess, and he starts this- calling his sister. <laughs> <laughs> that was Ryan, not real. It's just an elven princess, guys. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. L E E A A T H R A. Shiagra. Um. Most of my life, uh, it was just us, and we had to. We had to travel a lot um, because of me. It was it was mostly my fault. Uh, I don't, I don't, not my fault, but I can you call it a fault for just existing? Uh, I lived in just a small village called Gallant in uh, in Wincia, and. For reason, I, for reasons that I won't go into here, uh, you know, right this second because it's just it's a very long story. Um, my grandfather and my my grandfather and my mother and father were killed by the village, and they instructed before they were before they were set upon. They instructed. We ate her to take me and run. Uh, so we spent most of our life just traveling, traveling. Uh, I've, I've seen places all over Shalea. I haven't been, you know, there's some places I haven't been. I've, I, we mainly just, we stuck to the road and we would stop. So I've seen a lot of places, uh, random places, um, and you know i've never really spent a whole lot of time in in any spot but we we traveled mostly and one night when i was my not on my 16th birthday we went to a tavern Uh, we were going to it was our usual usual thing to to celebrate birthdays we'd go to the tavern and we'd use our you know what what coin we had to buy one you know nicest meal and you know, nice dessert, whatever. Um, we went to this tavern and had a good night, left, had no idea that we were being followed. And I was clubbed over the back of the head and left in the dirt while these animals set upon my sister. And they did unspeakable things before they finished her off in front of me. The blood hunters, the blood hunters didn't get there in time. And as soon as they revealed themselves, the the fools ran. But the blood hunters, they did everything they could before they even tried to attend to me. They tried to attend to her. Nothing. It was over. Nothing could be done. So when they saw that I was in shock because I had woken and seen what was going on and just not lifted myself off the ground yet, they offered me an opportunity to better myself and maybe one day be good enough to hunt these monsters down, hunt other monsters that would do things like this to people. And so that's that's how I wound up here. That's how I wound up doing what I do. And I was on a job. I was on a job in that cave with you all found me. I mean, you know that. We we talked about that. But I was on a job in that cave. And just doing the same thing I've always done. Moving. Looking for the next job. Hoping to 
save someone from a monster. Maybe find the ones that took her from me. Mm. <laughs> Cheers, boys. Y'all are the most happy depressing end. bunch of people. Yeah. I've met my life. <laughs> I mean, I thought this game was going to be like, hey, I slept with a minotaur one time. I mean, I didn't. I tried to, but... That didn't really pan out for you, did it? <laughs> it doesn't uh, have to be backstories. Yeah, you speak, you spin. Spin the compass. Yep. Four. All right, sit back, children. I'm going to tell you about the day I married a total babe. <laughs> awesome. So, flashback, like 12 years. Yeah, 12 years. Um, so, I was a fisher, uh, or I grew up fishing a lot because, you know, that coastal life while also doing some carpentry repairs in my father's house. But uh, it was time for me to go out and be an apprentice. This wasn't 12 years ago. This was more than 12 years ago, but this is leading up to the 12 years ago. Uh, go to a far distant land, uh, meet a girl. Turns out she is really good with a sword and could have killed me very easily. Um, so there's that. Her family is a, is a long line of legendary bladesmiths, which is kind of dope. Didn't know that was a thing. And, uh, instead of like her picking up the bladesmithing part, she would, uh, practice with the sword and, um, distractions. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> And became very skilled uh, with the swords that were very well designed, well made. Um, and that, that family was the Dagnan family. So uh, she got herself the title cat because her a, like her ability to transition between attacks. Um, slashes and thrusts and stuff would was so fluid and agile like a cat so the locals called her cat she was very well known um and for some reason she took a liking to me anyways the wedding day so i get to marry this legendary yeah. swords woman and i'm just some Fisher Carpenter nerd from a far off land. It was pretty sweet. And then there was like, you know, lanterns everywhere. There was all, all different types of people, really good food. They didn't really know how to cook lamb. Like really good. Um, they had all these like whiskeys and stuff, which I tried for the first time. That was the second half of the wedding. I don't remember anything after I tried the whiskey, but I heard it was not good. Um, <laughs> I took on a whole different like personality and it was, it was a lot. It was, it was a real lot. But, uh, after that, our wedding gift was this sword and, uh, Ren holds up his katana and he, uh, he pulls it out of the uh, sheath. He's like, you can actually see right here, um, kind of carved into the blade is the, uh, the Dagnan family crest, um, which is like their their logo for every blade they've ever made. And beside it, uh, they made a new one because it's the wedding gift for the Tanaki family. Now that the, the two families were one. So that's pretty cool. That's really cool. I like that story. That's really good. That's a good story. Yeah. Riley, remind me, remind me of... Uh... Ren's wife's and daughter's name and the sword's name. It's been a minute. So 
There's Kara, but he may call her Nico, which is Japanese for cat. Okay. That's his little nickname uh, for her. That's the wife. Yeah, that's the wife. Uh, but her real name's Kara Tanaki. Maiden, Kara Dagnan. Um, and then there's the daughter, Yui. Yui. Yeah. Yep. And then the blade's name is Kenko, which Kit- is yeah. yep. humility. What was it? Kenko. Is that Kenko? Kenko. C E N, me K E N K Y O? Yes. Okay. All right, I always forget it. So you have a thing for cats? Uh, legendary sword wielding cats, I guess. So wait, would did you have a thing for uh, Lita? Uh, no, don't tell uh, her this, but she wasn't really good at wielding a sword. Oh. Maybe she'll um, come back with one. Maybe, uh, maybe, maybe the rabbit woman will tell her. I mean, she can throw a punch. But. Emotional damage! <laughs> She was really that fast. Was, that was really well timed. She um, was really, she was really fast. That was a good thing. True. Uh, well, I mean, also my wife wasn't a cat person. She was uh, human, but had the. They just called her cat. Reflex yeah, because she was agile like a cat. Ah. Uh, Slate, well, you're last up, my friend. I don't see a point in even spinning. Yeah. I don't. Um, I've, I think I've lived a completely different life than most of you. Um, so I don't really know what to tell you. I feel like most of you kind of know my life anyway. Something that you don't know. After the last battle, I almost left. As a matter of fact, I was still contemplating leaving when we landed. Cheers, guys. Well, why were you contemplating leaving? I don't know. It's been through a lot. And um, I just, things were hitting me different. Uh, And I didn't feel right about some stuff. I feel like we overanalyze some things and we underanalyze other things. We make rules to to fight by and then we're afraid to fight. But then when we do fight, we don't even give things a fighting chance. And I have been the one who's not had a fighting chance before. I died in front of y'all. I almost died before. And that's not a good thing. It sucks when you're the one who gets picked on. It sucks when you're the one who's um, understand. I mean, I guess did we actually do wrong is the question. I don't know. We know, I don't, we, I don't, go ahead. I was just gonna say, we know he has, or he's been a part of it, even if he's, he's the most unwilling, at least that's what it seemed like, but he still was there and still was a part of it. Yeah, you're right. He was there. I mean, I don't know his, I don't know him, I don't know his involvement in anything but it if i'm being honest with you it wasn't even me who was thinking that i have a guy in my ring is he just in your ring well he talks in my head so i guess he's in my head but he was the one who was like this does not look right um we're holding a guy down and beating him and he doesn't even have a chance and we don't know his involvement. He, we, we, and he was also like, this is not the first time y'all have held down somebody and, and beat them. 
Um, and then he recalled they, to my mind ever for the last few fights, how we have held someone down, including a, a Sean, which I get that a, we also did not want to kill a Sean, which I, I did. I'm sorry. I Sean, I'm sorry. Like I hey. took that kill, but I also planned it out so that you'd come back. So, Hey, I get it. It's fine. So that you wouldn't die, I guess. But yeah. I've already but, almost died once. It's not that big of a deal. I could do it again. I mean, you know, I was just trying to like get you out, but uh, it was, it, it, it just became a reoccurring theme. And he kept, and this is what he was telling me in my head. And I couldn't focus on doing anything else. So I had to step away. I had to step away. There's nothing wrong with having to step away. I don't think any of us. I don't think we, the knowing what we did know, I think was enough. However, the thing that I will agree with, what is your halfling's name again? Corwin Copperpot. Corwin. Corwin, if you can hear me, the thing I will agree with you on, it made us look like the villains. That's if what any, he said. If anybody walked by, we weren't. He was the villain. And there's no question about it. He was he attacked us. He was the he was the source of of the thunderous whatever boom or whatever it was that was hurting all of this. Because strangely enough, as soon as he was gone, that stopped. And he is saying that every villain thinks they're the hero too. Well. He's not saying that you're wrong. He's just saying that every hero thinks they're the villain. That's, that's a perspective to keep in mind for sure. So I'm sorry if I let y'all down during the battle. That was not my intention. I was just seeing things through, uh, I guess, a new pair of eyes. Okay. This does make me think of something because you, you hit on something. We don't need to overthink every fight we get into. However, if we know somebody's bad, it doesn't necessarily mean we have to throw the first blow, but we need to be ready for it. And maybe, maybe next time we'll just take them in. That would have been fine, right? Mm -hmm. And he may have given us the opportunity or the chance to have to take him down. And I think that would have had to play out. I'm not even upset about it. I just uh, was kind of, and I don't even know how to explain it. How do you explain someone that can talk to you in your head all the time and tell you when how to, he tells me how to do some things and, and it helps, but then he tells me things and I'm like, oh, you kind of right. This does look like ba really bad. You know, I have a description for it that I don't know you'll appreciate, but potentially dangerous I mean who Corwin I've never I haven't heard many good stories about souls that were trapped in objects who could talk to people and I trust you you are a leader I'm wary of him I can understand that. And as a warning, he says, he says he can understand that. If you do anything to Slate, we'll destroy the ring. Would you all like to hear a story before we settle down for the night? Sure. I wrote this a while back. And he like stands up in these big grandiose motion move like motions and he's like there once was a woodland creature who lived in the woods with 
all the other animals, but he did not feel like he belonged in the woods. Though he looked like any normal animal, he still knew that he just didn't belong. So one day, he set out on a journey to find where he really, truly belonged. And while he was lost and alone, looking for who he was, a wise old owl took him in. Now, this owl realized that he did not know what he was, a bird. And so the owl taught him how to fly. And the bird loved flying so much. The, the sky is where he spent his time, almost as if he worshipped the clouds in the azure field above him. The treetops became his home with his mentor, this wise owl, and the other birds Years later, an artful little albino hummingbird flew straight into the, the bird while being chased by a flock of hawks who, had, who he had angered, and they were now intent on killing him, eating him. So the bird helped the hummingbird hide and outsmart the hawks. And from that moment on, a, a friendship was formed, and it grew when the hummingbird decided it was time to go, well, the bird decided that he would go with him. And in a conversation with the bird one day, the, the hummingbird realized that this bird still did not know how special he was. You see, he was no ordinary bird. He was a rare blue cardinal. And they were two rare birds who flocked together and they helped one another. One was unnatural. The other one was a rarity. And Zephyr is that bird. That's my story. Good night, guys. That was sweet. Yeah. Ashan and he drinks. just walks over to his be bedroll and just climbs in. <laughs> Ashan fully drinks. Closed. Ashan drinks his last little bit. That's my does son. A, does a final cheers. Says, "All right, guys, let's go to bed. It's time." Good talk. I feel like we know each other a little better now. I'll take first watch. All right. Uh, who's on second? Second. Okay, I'll take third. Who's on fourth? Sure. Uh, I will watch with whoever wants me to watch with them. Yeah, we will take our break because it's time. Heck yeah.
So when last we played, the guys landed to landed their flying cart to use the restroom. And then they all made a, a camp for the night and got to know each other a little better. The end. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I guess it is that simple. The end. If you want more details, <laughs> go listen to the previous episode. I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> I don't know what you're Why doing you skipping episodes. Ahead? I don't know what you're doing <laughs> skipping episodes, but go back. Every now and then, oh. your your phone does weird stuff, and it'll like download podcasts out of order, and it's like, oh yeah, play Mine this one, and I'm like, I'm nowhere near here. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know who are these people. What? <laughs> these different characters, <laughs> not even the same people. <laughs> same podcast. <laughs> Where did a blue guy, blue bird come from? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm here for that. I'm here for that big, that big, dumb that big guy. bearded <laughs> dude. Yeah. Where'd he go? The guy that plays him is there. Yeah. Why is he playing somebody different? I miss that jackass that was always yeah, getting him exactly. into trouble. Yeah. <laughs> who's this? Who's this other guy? This uh, <laughs> Ig, Ig, Ignolin. Yeah, this Iggy guy. This Igloo guy. Ig- Who's igloo? igloo? This igloo. And how dare how dare he wear a mask? Uh, <laughs> and not a funny. cowboy hat. But not a not cowboy. a cowboy hat. But he did at one time. He still, he did he one still time. has it. He still has it. With it's a, in my bag. So with imagine, his sister narrow urethra. <laughs> imagine if we'd been streaming the entire time and they like jumped from like the beginning when there was like a minotaur with us. And oh yeah very different people very, completely different man you know, bog and minute and uh the bog the frog they and, hate uh, they're racist against all those man. animal people they just cut them they off. just kick them out you can't kick be an them. animal person guys except for Rebari, campaign, we're just gonna revolutionize it and throw everybody off and we're gonna Everybody's start animals. at the end and we'll we'll tell it back to the beginning backwards. yeah be like Momentum. yeah so what happened what happened last game is going to happen after what happens this game. So let's just go jump yeah, into yeah. it. <laughs> that would be wild if it would if we could like write a Tarantino story to do D&D. that. Yeah, just Tarantino it. That would be play it out of really order. Cool. That would be really hard on me. That would be, that would be so be really hard. hard on all of us. <laughs> well, well the be... whole thing the whole thing would be like majority scripted is the only problem. Yeah. Start at level yeah. 20 and end at level 1. Y'all, y'all just get like random, like, I'll get you a note that they'd be like, okay, so you're all exhausted. <laughs> You've all been in a battle. None of you, you have don't know points. why. <laughs> you're all at one hit point. You're all at level 8. You How don't know why. Here? Yeah. Oh, by it's... the way, Riley, you died. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sick. <laughs> anyway. All right. <laughs> Who's last in initiative is really first. Yeah. You're fir- hey, no, first, you're last. I've been. I've been apparently, according to one of my buddies, I've been super chaotic in real life lately. Like just with <laughs> random things that I've suggested. So like, we'll just go ahead and we'll we'll tell it backwards. We'll add to the chaos. We'll tell it backwards and we'll do DM carousel. Oh, so oh every time every time just, the story is just one of us the next episode jeez that sounds like a nightmare oh god all right that gives, me a, play, that gives me a headache just thinking about it golly let's let's play forwards um so we're waking up at this point i guess if we're coming back in right right from that uh or no we're going to shifts that's what we were doing are we gonna really go through shifts? I don't know. DM. Um. Yeah. I have shift one. Dope. <sighs> one second. Okay, I'm gonna grab some water while you're doing that. Oh god, cold chill, and that was a violent one. I like jerked. <laughs> Never had a. Violent cold chill. Well, normally it's you know it's like ooh that one was like I was like it started out it was like and then it like you know sorry just, cold chill yeah. just 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 went. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I did that. That cold chill was just so strong. I just got goosebumps. <laughs> 
to be <sighs> fair, again, I'm in the garage. So That's these true. are like highly exacerbated cold chills by the 50-something degree weather outside. I know it's not looks super very cold. happy. Is anybody um, else getting the rain that I'm getting right now? Yes, oh, yeah. it's hard. Like yeah. crazy. I've seen the lightning flash probably three or four times now. It's crazy. <clears throat> I'm waiting for the thunder. Because the thunder rolls. Thunder yeah. rolls. Oh. Oh, All right. Mentioned. All right. So, <laughs> who's got first shift? Ignolin. All right. Roll for me. Perception? Yes, sir. Okay, dope. Yes, sir. You, sir. Cool. Can Ooh. I, can I, DM, leave Triel out with Ignolin to give him help so that he's not by himself completely? Sure. Okay. Advantage. Help action. Okay. okay. So my first one was cocked. My second one was a 14. I get another one. The first one was cocked, then yes. Okay. All right. Oh, believe me, I wanted to take it because it was like, it was cocked between 17 and 7, but it was leaning towards 17. I was like, oh, you got to be, it got propped on another die. Mouth on the floor. <laughs> Mouth on the floor. <laughs> okay, it's not good. 14. 14 was your highest? Yeah. Plus what? Hey, I got to go tend to a baby real quick. I'll be right back. I rolled a 12 plus 2. Oh, okay. Now I'm sitting here inspecting to make sure I didn't get any scratches on my dots. Oh. Ryan nearly fell while running out of the hey, room. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So so it's it's for the most part, it's fairly quiet. Um, what did you say you wait, what what did it was it a fourteen? A fourteen. Fourteen. That was your final roll? Like Yeah, I rolled a twelve plus two, and then okay. I, the second one was a seven. So oh, after gotcha. all of that rolling, it did on the concrete. <laughs> all right. So yeah, it's it's for the most part um, so a a a pretty quiet night. There's some pops and cracks off in the woods. Could be animals, you know, just making their way around. Hard to tell. Your mind. Paps mine, and slunches. Paps and slunches. Uh, it could easily be just that, but your mind is kind of. I think your mind is probably focused on some of the things that were said tonight, people's stories and, and things like that. You're, you're getting your, you're taking yours right after everybody just broke up from all of that. So it might be a little bit of, um, cool. welcome back. That was, that was quick handling that baby. Yeah. She, she just dropped her passage. Uh, he Vulcan, Vulcan he literally stole chips from her. <laughs> <laughs> he stole her chips. <laughs> Walking in there. Are, give me those chips. How did you get out of the crib? <laughs> get back oh. in the crib. <laughs> um all right. So yeah, it's pretty pretty calm for the most part. Um it, you'll uh, if you want to look around like you'll notice the, the sky's really clear tonight. The stars from where y'all are at are, are really visible. It's a very, it's a nice night. It's a, it's, it's a, and the temperature's nice and in, in kind of in that warm, cool area where it's just perfect. It's, it's a, it's a good night. Conditions are perfect. Yes. And being that you're the first one, you're actually getting to see kind of the end of that dusk, um, kind of where the sky turn is like, was like purple and then it starts turning dark blue you're getting like the best vi you're one of the best visions so yeah can i um like oh. get up you can't just do anything the tail into his right before mine and just talk to him for a minute yeah okay what do you want no i'm just joking <laughs> see anything nah it's been pretty quiet That was intense on your end tonight. You all right with that? You telling us? We don't get to choose our past. Yeah. I've I've made enough peace with it to not let it I greatly 
affect me, but I do, you know, I do have this weird, I don't want to call it a vendetta, but I, you know, have this weird thing about, you know, when I see evil, I have to do something about it. Uh, which is, you know, I don't know. I understand. It is what it is. I, I would totally understand. How do you feel after hearing everything Slate said? Because I know you were a little wary. I... I think we're going to eventually have to Well, I don't I don't know. I don't want to turn in I don't want to turn it into kind of a self-fulfilling prophecy type situation, but I think eventually we're going to have to address what Evandra told me with him. I would imagine that that will be something that you and I handle together. I mean, it's not every day that you tell someone that, you know, hey, we were warned that you're kind of enough of a wild card to potentially threaten everything we're trying to do here. I and mean, it's not that she necessarily, obviously I'm being hyperbolic a little bit. She didn't go that far, but to say that it must mean more it's it's not just something you would say in passing on this type of a mission quest whatever we're calling this thing i mean and i understand that too but uh i mean it it could mean a lot of things it could mean it could mean it is an actual like warning to heed but it also maybe potentially she just is wrong you know like she could just have an outlook on him that and she just doesn't like the fact that he can be a little bit chaotic sometimes he can do things on a whim and and uh maybe she just has rubbed the wrong way by him it's possible let me <clears throat> let me ask you a question. Does does the fact that he was about to I don't want to say he was about to the fact that he considered leaving us over a battle with one of the most terrible things that we're facing worry you at all I think the fact that this Corwin can affect his emotions worries me more than anything because even he said that yeah, I guess it was something along the lines of He's not mad or about about it, anything. It was just, it was like he was seeing it from somebody else's eyes and not his own. So I'm more worried about that than I am about Slate doing anything. You're more worried about the, the ring halfling? I'm more worried about him, about the halfling affecting him in a way that puts us in a precarious position. That maybe, what if we somehow come across somebody that this Corwin Copper Pot knows? We don't know what kind of life this halfling led. We don't know where he came from. We don't know what kind of person he was. What if, what if he's not good? What if, what if, Oh, forbid that 
he was in league with seven deadly sins or this dragon scourge. I, I yeah, it, but it's not, not something. It's not something that I want to think about. But I'm not even. I'm not even trying to suggest that that's the case. All I'm suggesting is that his word means absolutely nothing to me uh, because I don't know him. We we are in agreement, which is why I. That's why I kind of asked if these things were coming for him when we were at the table. Um, the the ultimately. All we can do is take whatever as it comes, but I just and I'm by no means suggesting that there needs to be any changes made in this sense when I say this, but we're I mean, my goodness, every town, every battle, every anything that we get into, we are Slate the Great and his fearsome mate. It's, it's going to be kind of hard to to do our jobs if our namesake is trying to stop us from doing our jobs. I understand. You, you, know, yeah. you know what I mean? This is my take on how we need to, what we need to be doing. We have two <laughs> things that we are trying to accomplish. We need to handle the sins. And even more than that, we need to handle this dragon threat. Okay, I have to, uh, finish, finish, sorry. We don't need to have a conversation with every single person we fight. We, from everything that I've been told about what happened with the, the poachers, we'll call them the poachers, in the courtyard the conversation was pointless when you guys could have all just walked away and they probably would have tried to stop you and that would have totally exonerated anything that could have happened at, after that point but <clears throat> we tend to overthink things a lot when, when it's not necessary and we tend to underthink things when it is necessary and Sometimes we just need to be direct. If we, if, if a person doesn't seem like they want to fight, we don't fight them. We just take them into custody and seem like they're incriminated. We'll take them to the nearest place and let, and let the authorities know. If they resist, then they resist. Other times, if it seems like we're talking in circles, let's leave. And if that gets us nowhere, We'll fight back if we're attacked. That's yeah. what I think. Yeah, I and, agree. But when it comes to the sins, if we know for a fact that they're the sins, we give them one chance. And then they don't they hear that. We're, we're going to take them down because we know what they do to towns. And yes. They smoke that call it a waste while we were there. And we did, we did give, to be fair, we gave Akedia like three chances. It was really prove, more about appearances with Akedia than anything. To prove himself. But anyways, all that aside, I'm, I'm about to go to bed, but what, what do you, what do you, what do you think about this weird impending doom thing and random princess elf with her large army? He has a lot of vague details that I think he believes. But I'm not sure if the ones who gave him the details are trustworthy. Wait, here's my question. You and I are pretty versed on religion and myths and legends and stuff like that. I mean... You, because you're a cleric, me, because I have to know certain things with the things that I hunt. Have you ever heard anything about some legendary Asamar changeling Slated. gorilla dog thing? Gorilla dog thing. 
Oh. <laughs> Slate is the only changeling I've ever known or heard of. Um, I would be, I don't know if anybody caught on, I'm assuming. If I was, if I was the blue cardinal, he was the albino. Uh, that was, that was obvious, very, yeah, that was very thought. obvious. But, um, I thought, I mean, he, I don't and, know. And he's described as like, the albino hummingbird is described as an anomaly, um, something not rare, but almost non-existent. And have, I do have a question. Have you met many? Uh, have you met many Osmar besides me? DM, have I met any Osmar besides besides Igmar? Um, I want you to roll. <clears throat> what would I roll? History? Yeah, just roll history. Nineteen. Uh, 19, you, okay, so in your, in your temple, you knew of a guy that you suspected of being, but you were never quite sure, but you, but, but that was rumor. The temple that I grew up in, or at least after I fled from the Bell Forest. There was a, there was a someone there that may have been like you. I'm not certain, but it it was peculiar. He had similar features. I just I've only heard I only really know about me from what I've been, what's been shared with me from other legends and, you know, I, I think information about what I am has come to me through various sources, but I've never met another one. I just think it's an odd coincidence that this thing is half of two things that you've only ever seen one of, and there just happens to be two both of us happen to be traveling in your group. I think it's strange. What's stranger is that we're a group of people that is primarily made up of rare races. Yeah. And, and whatever Ashan said he was, a, a Kalashtar, Kalashtar, or whatever he said, I've never heard of that. And changelings are unbelievably rare. So, so are any sort of genasi. And what's weird is that we all happen to cross paths in a, in a country primarily made up of dwarves and humans. And so, I don't think odd coincidence. Go get some well, guys. Yeah. Have a good night. All righty. See anything on my watch? Um, passive 22. Uh -oh. I was about to say it. I was about to say it. I was going to roll. <laughs> you can roll. I don't even look. I just sit there. You just sit doing there. Doing my own thing, and I'm like, with his eyes right. closed. <laughs> I take a nap. Roll for me. I want you to roll. I'm gonna say your passive twenty two is for like is gonna be things that are like within the campsite, but you, for you to try to do anything outside of where it's darker out of your vision, uh, you can roll for that. So you roll relatively low, fifteen. <laughs> um, it's darker now. Stars are brighter. Um, you see, you, you hear some of the same pops and cracks that he hears. Um, it's, but then it gets a little too quiet for a moment. 
Because it made me uneasy. A little. It, it it's almost like the the sound of, like the it's almost like when you're playing um, a song and it just stops when you're playing uh, a record and it's been playing and it's in the background and you kind of get used to it and it stops you don't always completely realize it right off the bat but then you're like oh that why is it so quiet that's why it's that moment of realization that it has gotten a, oddly quiet Oops. keep my keep my eyes on the ready <coughs> <clears throat> All right. So your your shift starts to kind of come to an end, but nothing has none of the sounds have started to kick back up. Um and it's it's starting to get who's taking the next Ashan? Uh, and Rabaru. And Rabaru. It's getting closer to their time. Um, and it's still that kind of ominous, uh, just silent, uh, deafening silence almost. Super emo. Super emo. Super deafening emo. silence is the name of the band. Deafening silence. Anything. One day, I'm going to play a character who is a bard, but he's the opposite of like the super charismatic bard. He's, he's going to be mime. like the, he's going to be the super emo, edgy bard. Edge lord bard. Uh, yeah. Yeah. He just sings like blink songs. <laughs> and the cure. He wears eyeliner and he's got black hair that comes down like this. He doesn't, he doesn't, over talk. one eye. He doesn't talk a whole lot, but then, by goodness, he's got a stage presence. Oh, mm. Ashley. Sorry. All right. So, yeah, it's time for them. They're getting up now. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, I'll I'll probably wake up first, and then wake up Rabaru. Like, hey, uh, it's our turn. I think it's uh, about time for us to go okay. take over for Zephyr. Grab my staff real quick. Um, I will walk up to Zephyr. Uh, Zephyr, you hear anything? No, but it's a little strange feeling because it's so quiet. I gotcha. Okay, well, there's two of us on this watch, so we'll uh, we'll post up and keep an extra close eye out. I'm going to go kind of recline close to where the others are, but I don't quite go to sleep yet. I'll have Trail do a perimeter check. <clears throat> All right. Okay. So you should just, are you want, you're just flying around? Mm -hmm. Uh, right. Probably 50 foot perimeter in a circle centered on me. All right, so you can roll for that. A perception. And she gets it with advantage because she uses her senses. You. Um. Yeah, you can. No, yeah, she. Uh, no, that's like part of the pseudo dragon thing. I thought you were asking me if you can get it. No, 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 no. It was more of a. Telling you, pseudo dragon. I gotta pull up her freaking stats because I haven't had her stats in so long, guys. 
we will take that 13 and not that four um perception uh 16 perception she also she also has blind sight throughout the 10 feet so what she sees is not much of anything whatever animals had been there have cleared out um whatever animals she does still see around are sitting very silently but she doesn't see anything of any nothing to note you know what i mean nothing mm-hmm. to uh, it's it's literally just very it's dark it's quiet and uneasy but it's that's all it is okay cool i'll have her fly back and uh lay down on top of the covering all right uh and Ribaru, uh where do you want to where do you want to wa- take watch at would you mind if i flew up in the tree to get a better vantage point yeah the one be- i point to the one like behind the behind the cart um like that there? one or maybe the one in front of us whichever one you think would be the best spot to see our entire area how about you take the one on the opposite side of camp okay that sounds that sounds good and i will stay next to the cart and trio will watch with me uh so who was red dot in the tree that was me okay is that is that what you were pointing yeah, at? Yeah, th- yeah, this is the one I was pointing okay. at. Yeah, right, on the other side it. of the camp, so you could look out into the. That's where you're into going the f- into the forest. How oh, dare oh, you? That's where you tell me we were owl bearing over here. I just pulled it up here. <laughs> I, I just pulled it. All right. Is um Zephyr back asleep or is he just laying down at this? Not point? yet. Okay. Um. Are y'all? I want you to go ahead and roll your uh, your perceptions. Nineteen plus twenty one. Okay. Nineteen plus twenty one. Trio got a seventeen. And Sean got a. I want to use this. Um, Fifteen plus was my perception. Also a seventeen. Also a seventeen. All right. Oh, come on. So probably because it's not quite. It, it, you had a twenty-one. Um, yes. for a moment, just for a moment, it looks like something moving just below you, but you can't, it, it, it's almost like, but you see sticks and, and, and limbs laying across the ground and they just kind of, and that's it. <clears throat> Tomat out, Rebaru. See, you are the one who got 21. I just made sure I understood. Don't get smart with me. <laughs> uh, never mind. Um, Sean, where are you at again? Oh, never mind. Uh, I am I across on the other side, in front of the uh, cart, and Triel is on top of the cart, looking uh, into the woods, and I'm looking towards the road. Is there any like we should have come up with some kind of uh, like visual signals? true i figured you would just call okay ashan that's racist um Ca-ca! as soon as as soon as i hear that i will walk over Oop, that's not what i'm gonna do i'm gonna walk over to here be careful there's something below me um, I approach slowly and 
take a look. Um, I'm not even going. Well, you can roll. You can roll another one. Another one. Um, uh, since you change positions and such. Another perception, or can I roll an investigation? You can roll an investigation. Because I am significantly better at that. Um, not necessarily going to tell you anything different, but you can roll an investigation. <laughs> uh, seventeen plus five, whatever that is. Twenty-two. Yeah, that. All right, math. <laughs> so what you're able to see with an investigation, looking down here at the dirt, is you can see where these sticks had been laying and how they have kind of jarred out of place. But nothing seems to be... Nothing's doing anything at the moment. <clears throat> but you can tell it's a fresh movement. Fresh but, movement. But at the same time, you also don't know if his flying over the sticks caused them to blow, like his wings yeah. caused them to blow or something like that. Do you see anything? See where some of these sticks seem to be have moved weirdly. Yes, that's what I saw as well. So I'm not sure... I don't see anything other than that, though. So, be on guard. We'll... I don't. Yeah, I'll. I'm not I'll, seeing I'll anything at the moment. Stay, maybe a little closer to the group. I'll stand on the other side of this tree and let Trio handle the cart. All right, as you move toward the road you feel a tremor. Do I feel that too? Um, is, it, is, that, is, it is it enough to jar them away? It's, it's not enough to jar you away. It's a light, very light tremor, and it there, is closer to the road. The okay. reason I ask is just because of the, like, is this something that would ping my passive? Perception? Um... <clears throat> Aren't you starting to fall off asleep at this point? We've been probably at it for a while too. I said I wasn't I wasn't going to sleep quite yet because Listen. of the uneasy feeling I had. I'm going to say okay. I'm going to say you you could fit you might could feel a little bit but at the same time no. It's hard to it's it's yeah. hard to tell. Yeah, it's it's like it's it's one of those moments where you're like, did I feel that or did I not? It's almost when you yeah. like when you're like, did I you're did I hear like, that? Or did I not? Yeah. Like was, when you have when your phone ghost vibrates in your pocket. Yeah. <laughs> Is it the same for me, DM? Since I kind of when we're on the road, I do the whole like yeah, and meditative. And it's probably the same. It would have been the it would both of y'all would have probably felt the same at where to the point where it's just kind of like it kind of felt like something but it also kind of didn't maybe yeah. it was just him walking yeah. by you yeah, yeah. Okay. but i definitely cool. felt something yeah. specific yeah because like you tremor. felt it you felt it as you got toward the road it was like it was heavier me. yeah it was heavier at that point okay shrug it off because i'm sleepy um i want to Let, let, let lick you from your head to your toes. <laughs> and I oh, oh, oh. From the Do I have to see them? And I wanna. <sighs> okay. So I don't have to see a creature to do this, but they have to be able to see me. Okay. So I want to reach out in the direction of the road where I kind of feel the tremor coming from. Okay. And see if I feel a mind link consciousness at all. Okay. Uh, 70, 70 feet. 70 a, feet. 70 feet. It's all really right. big. It's I was a, like, oh, okay. Yeah, that was a yeah. little further than I was expecting. Yeah, okay. it's a lot. 
I honestly, I, I, I had to double check because I thought it was like 20. All right. Do you need to roll anything like to see the strength of it or anything like that? Or is it just it, to see if there's something? It says, I can, I can use my action to give a creature the ability to speak telepathically with me for one hour or until I end this effect. To use the ability, the creature must be able to see me and be within 70 feet. Okay. That's all that's all that it says. So, so I can basically just like send out a wave of it right. and see if it contacts anything. All right, so you do hit something. Um it's not in so much language. Okay. As it is, but you pick up on the on I guess the thought of or the feeling of hunger. You you that that's would be that you don't have to know a language to um <laughs> sorry, I just thought you no, 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 yeah. Um so you you that it's it's more of a feeling, but it's connected to your brain, so you automatically know that feeling. Yeah. It's like my feeling with Triel. Where I can yeah. like feel like yeah. the, the telepathic like yeah. Sensation. So you can feel you can feel this hunger, um, and it's almost as if it's getting red. It's like it's it's searching. It's searching for food. Can I can I tell? Can I feel because I'm like connected to its consciousness? Can I feel it moving in specific areas? It is below you, directly. Um, I won't say directly it is, but it's very, very close, uh, right under the road, under the road, but it is moving as well. So does it seem to be, does it seem to be that there is a place where it is not going? Um, it is, we'll say it this way. It seems to know y'all are there okay uh, so i wasn't sure if it was like confined to the road for a specific reason or if it was confined to a specific area no you can you can piece together that it must have gone under ribaru for it to have jarred that and it must have come a little closer to the to the top mm -hmm. to make that happen but at this point it, it's kind of gone back down but gotcha. it has gone toward the road it, it has since turned um because it is almost like it's searching out exactly where it's sensing gotcha uh i'm gonna slowly back up because i know zephyr's like kind of awake i'm gonna tap zephyr on the shoulder Yo, what's up? uh there's something in, under the ground Un under the uh, ground is that what I you think, said yeah i think we need to get up in the tree or get up in the tree I, there's something big under the ground and it's hungry. Well, but you think that it can't get to the tree if it can, if it's big and under the ground? I don't know, but I Let's think it might be trying. Up. I think it might be trying to like pull people into the ground. Well, let's get everyone up. Yeah. All right. Help me wake everyone up. I'd, and I'd mentally like tell Triel to go fly to the top of the tree that I was standing in front of by the road. Okay. And with that, just as you're 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 telling her that and y'all are deci deciding we're going to wake everybody up. Mm -hmm. The ground begins to shake. It gets the stone violent. was rolled away. <laughs> <laughs> and like dead men the guards Perfect right. love. Yeah, I run over to uh, Rin and start waking up Rin and slowly. Um, and I also start pulling uh, Odin a little closer away, further away from the road. All right. So right where the heat of the um, fire was, mm -hmm. where is the fire still going or is it has it smoldered? It's it's probably, I would it out? assume it would have smoldered and we wouldn't have fallen asleep with a live fire going. I mean, y'all have people awake at all times too. True. So, um, 
but where that heat has been yeah, like in that little chasm i made where y'all are all sitting around it right um it starts it, it starts to get really it's shaking violently um now everyone's probably starting to wake up a little bit because it's like you feel this now um ignolin you as it started to get closer you started to feel it and you probably ever heard him tell him that anyway and busting up from the ground is this um i don't think i can even see that in the picture it is a purple worm Ooh. is it related to this dragon right here that's trail oh, okay I, didn't, I, was like, I was like whose dragon is this that's that's my quick icon for trail okay so, boom and rock and dirt and grass and leaves all of that that's been sitting here well not really well yeah because it busts up from the ground knocks it all flying everywhere um as it reaches up with its with its jaw just unhinged and it it, it has an ugly jaw it's like a three jaw oh like a try yeah it's a, it's a trimmer graboid what um, graboid yeah is it is it is it that big or is it really, really, is it bigger than that? It is, I will tell you. I just put it there because that was where the fire Oh, no, that's fine. Was. Like, um, would it have, I'm, I'm saying, would it have come up and been like mouth agape open? It's big. I Ooh, will tell you, oh I will tell you this. Gosh. I will tell you. It, oh, frick. I don't think it's that big. What, <laughs> I'm not even looking. Um, it, it can, it can burrow a, like a 10 foot diameter tunnel okay so it is big that, it is that big yes i can't remember how to freaking change the size on these things you click on it it is, and, it and is it's on the side yeah boom it, is venti. Venti. Yeah. <laughs> it would have it would have pushed you guys back probably the sediment's starting yeah. to fall on everyone is is you know we didn't get out of the way really in time but it didn't quite hit us either um but we awake. Everybody should be awake at this point. Mm -hmm. I'm assuming. Uh, real quick, which icon am I? Because my pictures aren't loading. Uh, the one something. to the right of the worm. This Here. one? Yes. <laughs> okay. All right. So. Uh, Let go. When, as it comes up, it's going to make a, it's going to make, so it's going to pop up and it's going to try to make the first attack. I'm going to let it make that attack and then we'll roll for initiative okay um it's uh who's it gonna go for it's gonna go for roll the d4 are you still st are you oh i can do that i was going uh, i was i can do that d4 wrong d4 i gotta get the villain d4 the monster d4 Ooh. it's the blood spattered one <laughs> change the music. Uh, attack okay uh, whoa. All right, I don't know who's who. One, two, three, and four. Uh, which one is? I'll say slates one. That's me. Um, yeah, I know. I'm gonna say slates one. That's Ren. Ren's That's two. Eglin's three, and Zephyr's four. It was. It was a two. So Ren. Oh no. He come nice. in. He's gonna. He's gonna go for you, uh, with a, with a bite. And that is gonna be. I gotta, get, I gotta pull. Ah, gotta find the right screen again. Sorry. <laughs> it's I'm, still it's dark outside. It is dark outside. Literally the middle of the night. Yes. Oh, sick. Yeah. Um. So it's gonna. It's going to buy. Oh my lord! It's gonna. Oh my lord. Yeah. Okay. Oh my lord. Um. And I, so fun, fun story, guys. Uh, he oh, is definitely going to hit because it's a plus 14 to hit. Jeez. Good. Lord. And I rolled a 19. <laughs> so, <laughs> so we're just going to say he hits, okay? So a 33. Yep. Just barely. It's <laughs> <laughs> <says> just barely. <laughs> That's fantastic. Oh, my okay. gosh. So he's going, so he wham right at, uh, at Ren. 
and there we go. I'm gonna roll the damage, but you also need to roll a dexterity saving throw, which is a good thing. I think that it's you. Mm-hmm. Yes. So automatically with my new evasion thing, um, I'll take half damage if I fail this roll. If I succeed, I take no damage. I think this is for you to not get right? grappled. It was just... says like with the saving throw, right? It's a saving throw, but it's to see it if he's attacked you, so you got hit. But yeah, it's it's not okay. it's not it's not like spell damage. That's what right. evasion's for. Mm-hmm. Interesting, interesting. So this could be to like not get grappled by its jaws and be pulled into the ground, which would Basically. suck. That would suck. Basically, that would suck, dude. Basically, he okay. went into oh, the that. cave. Dex saving throw. Wow. Um. Where is it? There uh, it is. Yeah, top left. Wow, guys, it's been so long since we've like done this. Right. This is so wild. We're rolling dice. Yeah, I rolled not amazing. What was it? It's eleven. Uh, Total. Okay. So I needed you to roll a a, a nineteen. A nineteen. Good oh, God. God. Well, I got you an eleven. <laughs> Well, I got you at 11. Can he pay it in installments? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So. Interest free. All right. So you're going to, so what happened? Y'all, we watch. I'm going is- to, wait, can I, DM, before you go any further, <laughs> I'm going to use Channel Divinity. I would say, this will be an appropriate time to use that Channel Divinity. Divinity. And I'm going to use my reaction to cap, to rewind, and he gets to re-roll that roll at advantage. Okay. Yeah, sure. I mean, I don't know how much better I can get. Wow. Okay. So that's the trap. That's uh, some crap roll. Do I get? I roll one more time. Roll yeah, with advantage. Reroll at advantage. Wow. Okay. Guys, uh, I'm sticking with my eleven. Jeez. Oh, wow. <laughs> I literally rolled a. I rolled a nat one, and then I rolled a three. Ren has been like the quietest person this entire game too. <laughs> He's predestined right. to go into the mouth of this worm. <laughs> so we watch. Your, so with the bite alone, you take uh, fourteen damage. Whatever. Uh, piercing, so piercing damage, and we watch as it just engulfs him, and he's gone. He's no longer standing there. He is inside of him. He is inside the worm. It. He is swallowed. Um, oh, fun. So you are blinded and restrained, uh, but you also have total coverage from everything that's going on outside of the the worm. Um, You also take some damage, acid damage from its stomach at the start of each of your, uh, the start of each of the worm's turn. So I'm not even going to give that, I'm going to be nice and not give that to you this time. But when it comes to his turn again, you'll have to take the acid damage. All right? Be like Drax. So. Ah. (laughs) I love you, though. Um, Very nice. (laughs) uh, Okay. So, fun, fun, fun thing that happened. And now let's all roll initiative. Gosh. 18... Also 18. I got to roll for two folks. So, so give me a second. I rolled garbage. <sighs> I did too. Is the worm in the ground? No, he's still, he just, and he's, he grabbed him and kind of threw him back, swallowed him, and he's still above ground at this moment. Gotcha. Also, uh, is. Ren totally inside of it, or is it like his feet sticking out, or anything no, he's like that? Swallowed totally inside of it, yep. yes. like, totally if his, out, okay? <laughs> well, yeah. Yes, totally novice. If his feet are hanging out, then he bit them off. Okay, that's an unfortunate thing. Say, scariest yeah. environment imaginable. <laughs> Thank you, Owen Wilson. I appreciate that. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I'm glad somebody picked it up. <laughs> Whose idea was it to camp here? All right, <laughs> uh, all of us. Literally all of us. Uh, Sean doesn't get to pick the places we go anymore. 
All right. Literally all of us. All right. So if you have um, a 20 or above in your initiative roll, raise. Can I see that hand? Raise your hand. Yes, literally, you. It's literally slate alone. Okay. It's literally slate. Literally. literally. I don't like that. <laughs> literally <laughs> feels, feels, feels gross to say it's literally all right <laughs> not, not a fan of this all right why did um, i bring attention to it um all right 15 to 20 raise your hands okay what y'all got 18 for me and rabaru 18 as well What'd you get from me and Sean? I've also got an 18. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this one. You guys went on decks. I'm definitely going last. I have a plus two. Okay, so who's got the highest decks? Is that? Well, I think it's Ren. I, I would think so. You have a plus three, right? I have a plus uh, three. I have plus four. Yeah, that's what I thought. So. Okay. Ren, um, Rabaru, Ashan. Okay. Um, Rimbar Sean. Rimbar Sean. Rimbar Sean. All right. I'm, I'm putting y'all, I'm logging y'all in. I'm trying for the first time something new. So give me a second to, to kind of handle this. The start. Are you combat tracking? I'm trying. Oh, that's fun. Ooh. Is that a D&D Beyond thing? Mm-hmm. That's cool. Where hey, is D&D my... Beyond, we'd love for you to sponsor us. Yeah, Where, please. Where's a Sean? I don't have a Sean on my list here. You should. I don't have a Sean. Try searching Asian. Well, I mean, Asian. he's not... He's not... <laughs> Try searching Asian. Asian. I, I, don't, I don't have him, but that's okay. Bovina's still here, and you're just going to yeah, feel... Just sit, she she for right now. Oh, there you are. Okay, just kidding. I was, for, I was looking for foundation. It's your old uh, foundation. It's your, it's your old image. Okay. Icon. Oh yeah. Um. All right. So yeah, Lita and Bovina are still on here. Bog's not. Oh, but it's because he left to do the one shot at one time. All right. Yeah. So fifteen to ten. Ten to fifteen. In between there. Anybody? Just the worm. Okay. Oh, you man, you guys were all bad, didn't you? Mm-hmm. I rolled a holy number. I did too. Seven? seven? Three? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Y'all's both got seven? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Who's got the better decks? Yeah. Plus three. Uh, me. All right. I don't even need to ask me. You yeah. Plus four? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, he's a, he's a freaking bow guy. He better have a better decks than you. I'm oh, God, I have yeah. really high decks for a cleric. I'm just saying. I mean, that's true, but. He better be, have a better dex. Than, the guy that wields the crossbows better have a de- better dex than you. And and a katana too. Like yeah, I'm all finesse, yeah. man. I'm yeah, all finesse. All those finesse weapons, uh, baby. I'm gonna do it like this. I'm gonna do it like this. I'm gonna do it like this. I'm gonna have to change she some of y'all. Like this, so I'm gonna do it like. This. And if she touches like, touch you right. Like right. And if you move like this. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Why are we doing it this way? We're all in the same All right. I've got to change some of y'all's things just because. Thanks. uh, Just because. That's why. Just because. Um, You don't need need to explain things to us. Why? It's got you. That's incorrect. Okay. You are our guide. All right. We trust you. Be our guide to the other side. Be our guide. Be our guide. Make sure nobody died. Okay. Then. <laughs> Sounds like Rin is going to, apparently. <laughs> we love you, Dorian. I... Brother, it will not happen. It will not happen. Okay. So I guess if Slate is first, what is we going to do, fellas? Um, I wasn't prepared for Slate to always be first. He's been first like he the last. always time. first. I should just get used to it. Um, Slate the Great, then the Fearsome Eight. That's yes. true. Yeah, yeah. 
He's gonna he's, pick up. He's the starting pieces. to re, he's starting to rethink this. Uh, his name being first. Um, <laughs> all right. The fearsome mates featuring Slate the Great. Uh, let's see. Crap! I didn't mean to do that. When he announces us, it's got the parentheses and says featuring. <laughs> Feet. Correct. Feet. Feet. All right. Um, I want to do a. a I was going to do a bonus action. I was going to do a bardic inspiration for Zephyr. Um, but that's a bonus action. So I can do that. Um, and still do an action. So yes. I am going to do that first. So he, he's going to look at Zephyr and he like points at Zephyr. And because of the whole blue bird thing, he's like flying. He's like doing like this. That's his the way he's casting that for you. He's flapping his wings. <laughs> Fly blue cardinal. <laughs> Fly high. I hate Fly when people high. say that. Um, is that what kind of dice is that now? Yeah. <laughs> okay. One d eight. One d eight. Okay, I know it used to be a d six. So. All right, and um, I guess I don't want to hurt y'all. So, because everybody's close. Um. You know what? Let's do a vicious mockery. Um, and what does he say to this? How do you man? mock this worm? Um, he looks at this giant purple worm and he goes, oh yeah, mine's bigger. Uh, <laughs> um, Classic. <laughs> Classic hold on, slay. hold on, hold on, hold on. I wasn't ready. <laughs> I wasn't ready. Gone. There we go. And so it's got a, it's got, I've got to roll. Is that coming through clear? Was, I want to make sure that that was heard. Yeah, we heard. Oh, it was. It is, oh. but I mean, the worm suffers emotional damage as well. Oh, this is true. This is. And true. he just, so I had to, he has to roll emotional like a wisdom. Damage. <laughs> he has to roll a saving throw a get a wisdom saving throw and I got a nat one. Oh. So he's gonna take a one d four psychic damage. It should be more than that. Well, the other thing that it does is really well. And the other thing it does is really cool. And oh, I rolled that incorrectly. Four. Um. So in yeah, so it has disadvantage on the next attack roll it makes before the end of its yep. turn. Nice. Which is which is great. So nice. that's all Slate gonna be did in his round as he also is trying to scramble away from the worm. <laughs> so all as he is going to he's also gonna run. Uh points at Zephyr, flaps his wings. Uh, uh, um and yeah he's going to back up this way from said take, worm take that opportunity attack i am going to take that opportunity i was almost going to give everybody an uh, a free one this time but then i decided i'm not because um i'm not that nice no but we're level seven. i'm not gonna <laughs> yeah but i am going to only do a stinger attack since he just got somebody in his mouth yeah so that's fair um and a seven uh, hey wait hold on plus 14 <laughs> 21 will hit so uh i'm gonna take some damage here i want y'all know that i did put this up against us and we should be able to beat this it's supposed to be difficult, but we should be able to beat I see it. you do this, because it sure felt like you did this. Yeah. And I love everybody. And you should be able to beat this. <laughs> oh, what you didn't know, this is the surprise end of yeah. the campaign. <laughs> this one. is the last right, Everybody episode. gets their new characters made. The prize finale. I, and I think, I actually, tra- I think I actually tracked um, the damage. I'm not going to change it because it was my fault, but I think I actually did his damage wrong. <clears throat> I take 16 damage. Shoo. Piercing damage. 
Um, and I also have to do a, um, I have to do a constitution saving throw. And that should, let's see if he makes it. Everybody, we're on pins and needles. Uh, barely, just made it, guys. Just made it. Jeez. It's, I, I rolled a 17 plus 2, 19. I just made it, or I was going to be hurting real bad. Uh, oh, my gosh. Jeez. Right. So, um... I don't, so I don't have to take the, the, the that, that damage, um, the poison damage from the, that, I'm just going to take my, what I say, 16 damage, mm -hmm. and go about my business. All right, whose turn is it now? Oh, Ren, he's inside of it. <laughs> um, let me see what it says you can do, <clears throat> if anything. Um, <laughs> he moved it inside of it. <laughs> Seven throw at the end of it. Uh, so the worm takes thirty damage or more on the single turn from a creature in, uh, turn from a creature inside. It the worm must succeed on a Constitution saving throw. So yeah, you can attack from within. Very nice. Um, so I'm, I'm gonna... gonna say you're like sliding down at this point because he just kind of pulled you up slate did his stuff and he he stung um and you're still sliding down his gullet nice single-handedly uh, slayed the space worm sorry ren's gonna draw his katana and uh just kind of press it up against the esophagus as it goes down all right for starters i hate to be this guy the you worm? said he was restrained. Oh, yeah, he has disadvantage on that. Hmm. So. I thought you meant you hated to be the worm because it's like when you get a chip stuck in your throat. And oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's you the have to worst. Roll, you have to roll a disadvantage. Strange. Very Speed nice. Zero, can't Honestly, if he succeeds at this, I'm going to feel bad for the worm because the chip in the throat stinks. Yeah. <laughs> That is the actual worst. I would never do that to my worst enemy. <laughs> yeah, so the first attack is an 11. 11? Um, yeah. No, sir, hit. that don't hit. I didn't think so. I don't know how you completely miss what you sliding through, but I was going to make up something. I don't even know how you He you couldn't get that. his arm. He couldn't get his arm out of... The enough, esophagus like, is squeezing you down, so you couldn't even get it in. You couldn't even like get the the leverage you need to stab in there. So after getting real frustrated, Ren goes, "I'll just, I'll just try that again." <laughs> just, <laughs> Does he say that to himself? And so, I'll, I'll just, I'll just try that again. <laughs> yeah. Fantastic. I mean, nobody's with him right now. <laughs> He's just like doing his own thing. Uh, so the same exact thing happens. Jeez. So yeah, you're being you're you're being really constricted, and and as it's, you're feeling the esophagus like push, like squeeze you and push you down. That's gotta feel gross. Ew. Yeah. Ren is <laughs> like, Ren is like, this sucks. This is the worst. Is the <laughs> I was just worst. trying to sleep. <sighs> and then he's like, okay, no katana. I guess I'll just use my fists. Oh no! The old, like, from a uh, friggin' oh, Kill Bill no, coffin no. scene. Uh, so, with my uh, flurry of blows. That way, I can be like, that looks. What do it? But, whatever. <laughs> That's a much better roll. Finally, something. Something worth fighting for. Uh, does a 20 hit? A 20 does hit. Nice. Rock and roll. Where's my hit dice? I haven't used these in forever. One of those. That's a really good number. 
I guess. So first first punch, nine damage. Nine damage. Okay. Not not quite to thirty, but is that so is that all you have you just do got one no, I punch got, or I got one more punch and then Okay, I thought be you had more than one. Yeah, I got one more to go. I mean you might want to hit thirty, but sweet. Uh there's a seventeen hit. A seventeen does not hit. Darn. All right. So I had just the one punch. All right. So you made nine damage on him. Let me pull up my crackulator. And uh, I like how all of y'all sending me stuff about y'all's backstories because y'all got questioned on it today. <laughs> The real question is, who didn't? Who didn't send me stuff? I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. (laughs) (laughs) All right. That was awesome. I didn't. All right. So, so who's is that the end of your turn? Yes. Okay. Um, next on the list is unless sorry, I'm r- jumping through more hoops than I normally am, but I Ribaru. like kind of like it. Ribaru. Uh, yes, Ribaru. Okay. Uh, so crap. Mm. I have a stick. All right. First of all, I'd like to cast. Um, what's it called? Hunter's Mark. Mark. Thank you. <laughs> and oh man. Okay. I am gonna I'm gonna cast Hunter's Mark on the on on the worm and then I'm gonna fly in and I guess... Oh please why why does this I'm sorry, this reminds me of uh Fox from um, Harry Potter and the Basilisk. Sorry, mm-hmm. go ahead. <laughs> I would, I would probably get that if I watched the movie. Give us well, your tears, Roboto. The others, or, or the others get book. it. I get it. Um, all right. So he's gonna he's gonna cast Hunter's Mark, and then he's gonna fly in and attack. Oh gosh. Uh. Dang, I wish I had something else other than a stupid stick. You can go get your um... Yeah, I'm okay. My 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 plan is to fly, attack, and then head over to the cart. Okay. That's what I'd like to try to do. All right. So you're gonna fly past him, hit him, and then and then go to the cart to get your bow. Yeah, how far is that? Uh, I'll measure at. Am I allowed to say something? That's just me. The cart it's is like eighty feet. Eighty feet away. Yeah. Yeah. Like you can say something, uh, ignorant. I feel like I'm about to get in trouble for saying this. I mean, if you think you're gonna get in trouble, don't say it. <laughs> <laughs> say it. There you go. Because I don't, I don't want you to like. Uh, I don't know what meta. I don't know if it's meta gaming. I doubt it. I mean, if I, it, it depends on how you say it. I know what you're gonna say. I think. Uh. Oh, did, would you have gotten I, I off your thing? I don't thing? know. I don't know if what you're looking for is in the place where you're looking for it. Oh crap. <laughs> Okay. Well, too late. I've already made my plan. <laughs> All right. So that's not what I thought you were gonna say. So <laughs> that's not what good. I thought either. This is not the location you're looking for. All right. So I don't know if y'all can see my measure. I'm I'm gonna fly no. fifty feet. Is it possible to attack DM while I'm flying? Um yeah. You have arms. Do you have fifty by. feet of movement? Holy crap. With flying, yeah. 
Oh, you just don't get true. that opportunity attack. No, it won't. He already used his reaction to attack slate. Ooh, yes, you were correct. And and now I everybody have else can back up. Except for you me. have what? I have horror breaker. Except for me. <laughs> okay. All right. So I'm gonna I'm gonna fly. Um, attack and then land over here next to. Odin's head, I guess, because that's fifty feet. You're gonna attack twice. Well, I'm I'm trying to be realistic. I'm not gonna da, 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 and then take off. <laughs> I'm I'm my concern is to get to <laughs> to get my bow. You do what you think Rabaru would do. Yeah. He would fly by, hit the thing, and then try to find his bow because he knows he can make more da- d- deal more damage that way. We'll do it. All right, so I, I'm gonna fly. Attack. Go for it. So does Rabaru yeah. not currently he doesn't know where his bow is currently? No. And I I his assumption is it's in the cart. All right. So um, yeah. Do you have it, Ignilin? <sighs> yeah, I was the one that had to give him the quarter staff. <laughs> oh man, this sucks. All right. I'm so, so sorry. I rolled it, so dirty twenty. Um, a dirty twenty to hit. Yes. Well, that'll hit. Okay, good. All right, and I'm two-handed as I'm flying by. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, that just sucks. And then one is. Uh, let me calculate this real quick. Calculate. Calculate it. Yeah. 1d6, right? Yeah. So six, seven, eight, <laughs> nine damage. <laughs> right. hey, that's 18 damage on him so far. That's good. Bludgeoning, if that means anything. Um, yeah, I mean, it, it comes with boys. It Wait, what the heck? Why is there a fake dice rolling on my screen? Go away. Oh, because, it, yeah, it's just a DD. And it's so there. slow. Meh. <laughs> Okay, so he's gonna land. He's gonna land next to the cart. Okay. All right, that's the end of my turn. Ribaru quarter step damage. Oh, man, I wish I had my bow. All right, is that the end of your turn? Yeah. Can we see this log? Um, yeah, I figured it out. I figured it out. Cool. Oh, there's... I don't have one thing pulled up, but I will get that pulled up in just a moment. In just just a moment. Because I forget that we have extra people with us. All right. Um, that aren't people. All right, so... I wasn't counting... The, I wasn't counting... I, I forgot to get the stats for um, Odin. Oh, yeah. Um, what are y'all looking at? All right, so uh, that's the end of your turn. That's going to go to Ashan. All right. What, what were y'all looking at? What were y'all talking about looking at? It, it's not for everybody. You just you accidentally rolled, yeah. so it came up in the game. Oh, okay. Five, I don't even know how I rolled. 10, 15. You got a good line of sight there. Um, I'm going to... Okay, I'm going to cast Hex with my bonus action. I'm going to give it disadvantage on strength checks. So hopefully that will be a little bit easier for you to get out of Ren. Um, first level Hex. And then uh, I'm going to Eldritch Blast the crap out of it, hopefully. So let's see what happens. The 19 hit. Um, yes. All right. And I assume a 27 also hits. Obviously. All right. Dope. Find my D10s. 
They're the stupid little top looking ones. And a couple D6s for Hex. That's a nice sound. <laughs> Jiggle. All right, that is. Ten, sixteen, plus ten, twenty-six damage. A twenty-six damage. And I'm gonna push it twenty feet towards that, the woods. That was all of your damage together, right? Yep, all of my damage together. Okay. I'm gonna push it twenty feet towards the woods to get it away from people. All right. Uh, specifically, it runs directly this way. Second. Or that way. That would be the angle. So it didn't it ended up, it would end up like right there. Wait, hold on, let me pull that up. Where it pulled okay. It would end up right there. Got you. From being pushed back twenty feet. So it bust through all those trees. Well that tree's kinda got a big old crack in anyway, so Yeah. But boom. it like it hit right. that tree. Yeah. yeah. Bam, it hits that tree. And then all right Ren's still inside of it yeah okay. don't forget me <laughs> <laughs> it's spirit uh, it's like yeah. a... <sighs> Ren's it's like there easy. going like oh, oh man this sucks worst ever <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you see an imprint of Ren just like pressed against its stomach like trying to go on <laughs> what the heck um, um yeah so that's my turn uh, That's I my don't think... story, and I'm sticking to it. Sorry. I don't think Trio can do anything right now. So I'm going to have her fly over to who's next in the order? The worm. Okay. I'm going to fly over to uh, Ignolin and give Ignolin the help action. Does that mean I have inspiration? You'll have advantage on your first attack. Okay. Or oh. or any like saving throws or anything. Okay. Caleb, did you have the worm roll disadvantage against you whenever it hit you? Uh no. It should have. It should have. But did not. you could just use it a disadvantage on the next attack it does. Yeah, I can do that. Alright. Um Worm time. Worm time. <laughs> All right. Big what? perm? I mean, I mean, big worm. Worm is going to see. So I'll watch. So, because now it's completely up against this tree. Its whole big old long body stretched out with its stinger, out, which it kind of had already used its stinger anyway. So it already pulled it out. But it's y'all see him. Mean, he's up against this uh this tree. It's going to. It's going to leap into the air and boom, right back into the ground. It is kind of like the crocodile. Jeremy, I, love, I, know, I know how much you love that. That's fantastic. So it's going to boom down into the ground. Um, let me see if I can do this. Shabam. Um, I'm also going to do this as well. All right. Hey. Um, so he is tunneling. Let me see. See how let me see his check let me double check his tunneling speed. Um Okay, so that's pretty good. Um so he's going to go right here and <laughs> oh i don't know about this do i want to do this bring it on let's go i just want y'all know that i love y'all he did it show up on anybody else's map no, i ain't pulled it up yet okay let's go all right Boom. Oh. oh oh no the ox Oh no! I love how we called it an ox, an ox, because that's the icon. Yeah. That's oh, well, I feel really. Get, 
I feel it's really gonna, bad. It's going to get disadvantaged. So that's okay. All right. So, yeah. So, <laughs> disadvantage. Okay. Um, let me see if that hits. Can I get disadvantage on this thing's 12? Hit, Plus like 12, 12 or whatever. Yeah. Um, it still hits. And it, he's biting. He's going to bite. Uh, I'm going to cast Silvery okay. Barbs and make it roll a d20 again and use a lower roll. I mean, I don't know if it's going to get any lower. He's got a plus 14. Yeah, and yeah. I, I rolled a lot higher. So Okay, that's fine. Uh, but I also get to choose a creature within range so i'm going to choose uh rin is in range i guess technically because he's in the range of the thing i don't have to be able to see him i don't think the spell uh, i don't think so no you can see within range yeah i have to be able to see him uh okay. rabaru you'll get advantage on your next attack okay so you will don't 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 do that <laughs> you will okay england's right there it's not that hard he must have something up his he's gonna do all right I mean, either way so purple worm gone by my friend odin oh, and um i'm so hurt by this y'all and i did it All right, let me roll the damage. Oh no! <laughs> Great, I'm about to revivify a buffalo. I know. I'm oh, already no. prepping. I'm already prepping the gems, <laughs> the diamonds. I gotta let me count them. Count this. Um. I'm also, gonna have to do a save against it. So. The ox can fit in that thing's mouth. Gosh. Okay, um, so that's 21 damage. Um, <clears throat> he real hurt, okay. Oh, he ain't dead, okay. That's good. He's not dead yet. <laughs> he literally got one hit point. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't go negative. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, he do that, and then I got to roll against... I don't even have I don't even have a die out for you, Bison. I'm gonna use this one. The look on Riley's face right now. Mm. I know. Let's see this. Sorry, <laughs> Riley. The, this is the worst. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I've got to. What do I got to do? I got to do a uh, con save. Is that correct? Is that what I said? Mm -hmm. Um. Wait for which part? Uh, because he the just swallowing. Got, yeah. Uh, that's Dex. Dex, correct. Or strength. Oh. Dex or strength, I oh, think. Oh, no. This bad. This bad. This, this bad. Okay. I rolled, so that was uh, 14. So y'all watch as he, was as he busts up and he grabs the bison as well. It snaps him loose from the cart as he uh, now... Is swallowing the the bison. Oh boy! But he has not swallowed him. Well, I mean, it's that it's in this all one action he does swallow. I mean, it's okay. going it's it's part of what it does. Also, also Riley uh, needs to take his damage. I was gonna I, remind you about that's that. That's what I was fixing yeah. to say. Is I should have done it at the beginning of it, but yeah. Riley, you gotta take your 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 damage. Um, Give it to me. Bring it on. So. The damage is what did I tell y'all it was? Um, I didn't. No. So I love you. You may have, but I didn't. So I'm gonna have to add this up. Song sounds like it would be on the Witcher soundtrack. Mm -hmm. 
25 acid. 25. Yeah. My gosh. Yeah. 25 damage for you. Very nice. I'm about to be nice and start just making this thing sting, y'all. Um, everybody getting to eat? All right. So that's going to be the end of his turn. Our cart is slightly broken. Our bison and our father figure has been eaten. <laughs> <laughs> and um, Ribaro's in, in the cart looking for his... <laughs> I hadn't got there yet. Oh, you hadn't gotten over there yet. You know, you uh, can right. just like he, he standing right there beside the worm. <laughs> no, that's true. He watched right. I wouldn't get swallowed. What? <laughs> Probably scared the crap out of both of us because we're yeah. both standing on either side. Yep. <laughs> all right. Um. All right, Ignolin. Go, buddy. Go, Ignolin. All right. Um. Okay. So let's see. Mm-hmm. Um. All right. First thing, first thing I'm gonna do is uh, I'm going to uh, take off. I'm gonna take off running, and I'm going to flick my katana kind of out of its sheath. I grab it with my right hand. I bring the left hand down to where, as I'm like drawing it backhanded, I slice my hand open. Um, and I'm going to crimson right with right of the frozen, and I just leap and go like driving down like the top of the head. Like right. I'm going to try to stab it with in the advantage. Do what? Yes, so, yes. With advantage, with yeah, because of the help action from trio. Okay. Does a does a fourteen hit? No. All right. So first one kind of just like glances off, but uh, you know I'm gonna do it again because I got an extra attack. This one does not get advantage, correct? It does not, no. Just the first one did. It don't hit. It don't hit. So. Uh, <clears throat> sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so are you on top of it? I uh, do I is there any do I have any purchase? Um since I didn't I mean, get the sword in in, you know. I mean you jumped on on it. <clears throat> um, you, unless you hold on, you'll you'll fall off. But I mean, you'll fall off right where it's at. So, well, okay. Where's Rebar? Which one's Rebar? Um, the lower one. The lower one. Like, yeah, the one that just. So, moved. as I just kind of like don't get any hits and slide off, I'm going to toss Rebar his bow. I will accept. Well, accept. All right. And let me move my yeah. Let me move my guy over there. Awesome guys. Feels like the crocodile. <laughs> Nothing's working. All right. Is that the end of your turn? Right, yeah. <sighs> That's all I got. Zephalump, it's your turn. Zephalump. <laughs> <laughs> and woozles. All right, so. Um, isn't, that I... Zephyr's, isn't that Zephyr's mini right there? Next to the worm? Mm-hmm. This is me. Yeah. Didn't didn't Ignolin need to move up? Yeah, I'm in front not, of the worm. Was yeah, I? Right? You, I don't no. feel like I was right there. You grabbed. You, you, you grabbed the wrong one. Yeah. Oh, okay. There you Sorry. go. I wasn't that far over. You were there. I think I was right there. Um. Okay. So the bison didn't swallow. Kind of messed my plan up. 
So I'm sorry. It's okay. It ain't your fault. Does this thing have eyes? Um, not not no. It has blind sight. So no. It has blind sight. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna cast deafness on it. Okay. So he, he deaf. Huh? That's okay. He deaf. <laughs> well, he's gotta make a save. I know. I know. This is well. I guess. The like. He has blind that, sight and tremor senses. So he did deafness. Oh, would, deafness okay. wouldn't yep. matter. I just, I just want. That's. I just looked at and saw okay. that. Okay. Well, never mind then. Tremor sense negate. But you don't numbers. know that. I'm trying to think if Zephyr don't know that. That's true. <laughs> you don't want to do that though, because I wasn't sure if I wanted to do it or not. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Can I roll an intelligence check or something? To determine if I if I do know that, I mean, if I can gauge that. Um. Yeah, I'll let you roll it as like a. I'll let you roll it as like an insight. Okay. Uh, that is a natural eighteen plus seven. Okay. Yeah, you can. As you look at this okay. thing, it clearly has no eyes and doesn't seem to have any ears. Um, and I with what. A shine told you about it was something underneath y'all. I don't know if he told you that it was looking for something that he what he sensed, but um, you can kind of tell it it, okay. it wasn't hearing you or anything. All right, so I'm gonna cast spiritual weapon behind him. So let me. I'm just gonna drag something over here to be my my weapon. There's a sword. Where's the sword? On the top. On the top. Two swords. There's two swords. Okay. Yeah. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna drag this sword right here to be my spiritual weapon. And I'm gonna take a swing at it with the spiritual weapon. So that is, what is that? That is 18 to hit. Yep. Just. Yeah. Right. My spiritual weapon. Ah! One D eight plus four. So nine damage. Then I'm gonna cast Word of Radiance on it. Can't trip. You utter a divine word. Radiance erupts from you. Each creature of your choice that you can see within range must succeed on a Constitution saving throw. I gotta do succeed on a constitution saving mm -hmm. throw. All right, let me pull his stats up again. Oh, it probably didn't. Let me see. Uh, well, um, it's a dirty twenty. That uh, succeeds. So that's my turn. So he All probably right. has pretty good con. Yeah. Yeah, he good. has. It gets up. Yeah. Um. All right. That's the end of your turn. Yeah, I'm gonna gonna move right here beside Triel. Top of the order. Okay. Back to slate. All right. So back on up here to Slacious the Gracious. Um, let me get down to. We need it to throw up. Don't know what that means. Yep. Don't All right. What that means. But... So what is slate gonna do? Um. Hmm. Mm. Did you did you use your uh thing that he gave you a while ago? Uh, Zephyr. What thing? He he gave you uh, inspiration. I didn't need it. Oh okay. Um. So, uh, with that, um. 
I think I'm going to do the unsettling words to the thing, which was, uh, you know, you can spend one of your bardic inspiration and choose one creature you can see within 60 feet. Roll the inspiration dice. The creature must subtract that number rolled from the next saving throw that it makes. Um, so I'm going to do... I'm gonna do that. Uh, what is it? It's a D8. Come on, eight. Okay, or just a, a three. All right, so take three away from its next. Um... Is it attack roll or saving throw? That's what I'm reading. Creature must subtract the number roll from the next saving throw it makes. Okay. Before the start of its next turn. Got it. All right. Um, and that was a bonus action. So let's do poker stick. Poker my my my. Rapier, just don't unsheathe it and just poke him in the side. Just poke him with the with the umbrella. <laughs> yeah, just. Uh. Uh. <laughs> uh, actually, he'll I'll, I'll unsheathe it. He'll un, so he'll unsheathe it as he's like saying whatever cruel words he's saying that un, un unsettles this thing. Um, and just jabs, tries to jab for this thing. He's like, I'll, "I'm gonna save you, Daddy," and. Uh, let's see how this goes. A 24 will hit. Um, nice. I'm not going to do a whole, whole lot of damage, but let's see what we can do. Ooh, so that's going to be nine damage. Not as too well. bad. Not too bad. That's been pretty on par for what we've done, except for, who was it did 26 damage while ago? Me. You. <laughs> All right. So, um, and that's going to be his turn. So who's next? It is Rin. 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 Oh, Rin. very nice. I love you, Rin. You're hurting. Um, I guess now that I can hear odin on his way down to join me <laughs> yeah you're you're in the stomach and and he's he'll flop in before the worms next turn ren rages uh, yeah ren rages <laughs> <laughs> and uh he does not succeed with his first katana attack but he succeeds with his second katana attack. So finally, I get to cut the esophagus. Somebody rolled a quarterstaff damage just now. Crazy. Where is it? Oh, the hit dice is a, a lot higher than fists. And I rolled really low. That sucks. <laughs> that, that really does suck. All right. So six cutting damage there. Good old slice. You're just nicking away at this thing. Yep. You're what? Nicking away at it? Nicking away at it. Nicking. Got you. What did you think I said? You know what I thought you said. Nicking away at it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so now Ren's gonna do his flurry of blows. <sighs> Rolled a natural one. For that. Nice. I'll do my, uh, my last punch, hopefully. Maybe not, I don't know. Let's see if this will do it. To the door. A 16 is not going to hit. So no, I just, I give him a paper cut and I'm like, take that. 
And that's it. That's all Raiden can do. He cries. My buffalo. So no window. So no window. So no damage. I rolled uh, six. Just the one six damage. One six. Yeah. No just... window. No wall. To the door. That's why I said it because I, I muted I muted my I muted my mic and when you said that I said shoot the window. I don't care. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so when I came back on I was trying to say no damage. I was like, no window. <laughs> no window. Oh, oh wow. All right, hold on. Let me do the six damage. Okay. Y'all got a lot of work to do. <laughs> All right. Ribaru. Yes, and you, sir. And you have an advantage, I think, on your on, on your, your first attack. Okay. So quick question. Quick answer. Well, let me hold on. Let me let me let me do something real quick. Um, first of all, he's gonna say Thank you to Ignolin. Okay, that's not what I thought that said. Uh, anyways, um, Rivaru is going to draw an arrow and attack. And he's going to aim for the face. What there is of one. It's mainly just the mouth, but... So... Uh, what would that be? Uh, 27 to hit. 27 hits. Okay. All right. Hold on. Where's my D8? Which one's an eight? There you can is. go ahead and roll your second attack and just roll all your damage at once if you hit. Ah, yeah. Does an 18 hit? 18 just hits. Okay. <clears throat> Take it off. Woo, Riley! Sorry. Okay. Riley was taking his his hoodie off, and, and then his shirt started coming off yeah. too. <laughs> what y'all talking about? Mm -hmm. No. Total of twenty three, uh, but well, yeah, total of twenty three. Never mind. Is that plus Hunter's mark on both of those? Yeah. Nice. I was I was gonna do I was gonna do the bomb arrow, but I, I'm gonna wait. I don't want to blow Ren up. I said there's people inside there. <laughs> well, <laughs> I was aiming at the face, but I decided not to. It says five feet. I mean, he has coverage from anything that happens on the outside. Well, that's what I was gonna ask you about the bomb, and I just decided not to. Was the like if he has coverage from that because I'm gonna be aiming right at the face. Plus, whenever we establish the bomb arrow. Uh, I've got it written down in the notes. You have uh, blast radius of five feet, roll 3d6, halved for damage. I, I don't remember what that meant. Oh, if, that, if uses I take... your, that this is your spell DC. They can roll to take half damage. Okay, so I was looking at the, the, the bomb. It doesn't, it just says must succeed on a DC 12 dexterity saving through throw or take. 3d6 i don't know if we if we made it different from the bomb or if it was if it was the same as the bomb i don't remember but i i, I just know he's got coverage from whatever happens on that okay side. i'm just gonna go with what i said to begin with all right uh is that the end of your turn it, well yes okay uh a sean sean is gonna put his hands next to his head his eyes are going to glow super bright the pink is going to kind of start glowing on his things and so he's going to cast <laughs> dissonant whispers uh it needs a wisdom saving throw uh dc 16 wisdom save okay a dc 16 yeah okay Wisdom save. Got gotcha. you. What's he laughing at? That, that got to him real good. Because the, the pink was glowing on his thing. 
Uh, well, I rolled a natural seventeen uh, plus. Okay. He's whatever. Still take, he's still gonna take. Uh, hey, damage. sometimes these animals got negative to wisdom. Yeah. Plus, this one has plus four on a saving throw. Yeah, I was hoping that either this one would have negative to wisdom or intelligence. Wise so worm. next, I'm gonna try the intelligence thing. Um, so this is the 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 that is. Uh, it was a saving throw, correct? Yeah. Saving yeah. Saving throw. Um, that is. 17 damage. Is that already half? That is already halved. That's not too shabby, though. <laughs> no, it's pretty good. Uh, a damage dealer. It is uh, specifically psychic damage. Psychic damage, okay. Yeah, and then I'm going to take my bonus action to... Uh, have Triel fly up to him this way and um Triel is going to oh I can't do that um Triel is going to give advantage on the next person to attack the the worm just in general just the next attack that attacks the worm it's gonna be like claw like you know fox style like clawing at its eyes and face and stuff so like she's flying she's she's flying over him and and clawing him yeah not like attacking but like just disrupting so like to give advantage on whoever's attacking next so it's a, it's a help it's a help. He action. should be able to take a uh, an opportunity attack against her, correct? No, he's not fly she's not flying out of her out of his range yet. Okay. So I within range, not flying out of range. And I'm pretty I sure she has the way it the way it, the way it looks anyway. on there, it looks like she flew past him, so that's why I Oh no. She would have gone this way. To just as long like... as she stays within its attack range it should be yeah. Fine. yeah which i, I think you. she i think she has a thing where she can just like fly out of range it's called flyby but all right so the worm's turn it is the worm turn to hit somebody all right um the last person to do damage was just go Gr ahead and give it to me. Just Gr go ahead. Oh, you you've got to take acid damage. Uh -huh. Um, just give it to me. As does the as does the um poor bison. Um, but I'll roll his in a minute. I'll roll I'll roll them both in a minute. I'm gonna go ahead and do the attack, and then I'll tell y'all how much I'll take. Um, he's going to attack. Rebelicious. He ain't even in here. Um. So, but I'm still going to. He's gonna come back and find out. So he's just gonna. He's just trying to sting this one. Y'all know I can do multi attacks with this too. I can bite and sting. Yes. Why not? Yeah, you should. Because I done about killed two two people's in this party. No, you haven't killed them. No, but well, we, got, we, know. we can revivify people. Oh, we got this. You know what? Y'all taught me into a uh, little multi attack Ribaru. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I'm pretty sure 21 hits. That's, yes. to, that's to bite. I'm pretty sure his AC is like 16 or something. And a 20 should hit as well. Yep. And that's going to be the sting. Uh, but I guess to make sense of it, the sting has to come first if he gets. If he were yeah. to get eaten. So we'll do it. We'll do it the other way around. It don't matter. Anyway. All right. So they're going to eat all of us. We all going to. So let, surprise. Reroll characters. Y'all need to roll new characters. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, Slate's going to be the one who escapes. He's going to run away. And it's going to be a new Slate the Great and the Fierce of Man. <laughs> That's funny. Um, all right. So I got to roll my damage here give me one second three hmm 
Hmm. So 25 damage with one hit. 24. 25. And the other one is a different. One die. and one. All right. Okay. So I'm gonna add. I'm just gonna add his all of that damage together. Because it was 15 and 25, so that'll be what? 30... 40. 40, yeah. I was like, I know it's more than 30, but I couldn't I couldn't do that in my head. 40. Romaro has 13 Four, 40 what? left. Oh. Damage. 40 damage. He also has to make... He's going to have to make two separate uh, saving throws. The con and the dex one? Mm-hmm. Um, Does one of them have it? Does one of them have Like, it? does the con, like, half the damage? If you uh, succeed. If you succeed, like, does it half the damage? Half as much damage on a success. Okay, yeah. so he could take potentially less. Yeah, he could. Hey, well, hey there he is. You, you, get a, you get an attack, my boy. You're attacked. You've been attacked. What? You just, come on, man. Um, you just took 40 damage. Oh, and... cute. Well, maybe. Got to roll well, a con no, save first. Well, well, no, he takes forty damage. That's piercing damage. He, he also has to do the con. Oh, to not save, take but, more. Because that's because that's because that that's just for the poison damage. Gotcha. All right, so um, I need you to make two saving throws: a con saving throw and a deck saving throw. Spoiler: Rebaru doesn't have to go to trial anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 16 and 19. A 16 and a 19. Which one was a 19? The dexterity. Okay, so you take, um, you're going to take some poison damage. Um, I'm going to roll that for you now. I'd rather uh, you not. Let me roll it. Uh, just less than 14. A d4. One row, two row, three row. Oh boy! Four row, five row. Jeez! How much freaking poison damage? Six row. Biologically, this thing has twenty poison sacks. <laughs> no. Seven row. So he's pulling from all of them right now. Uh, Eight row. What is the total at this point? I don't know. Nine row. Oh, okay. Ten row. Eleven row. <laughs> what is this right now? This. Uh, I'll tell you the. Uh, hold on. So is it more is it 13 or more? It's going to be more than 13, yes sir. Oh, well, then I'm I'm knocked out then. Well, you might be not. Well, that's my make sure you ain't dead, okay? Uh You got your negative 53 uh, points to be dead. Well, I well I know that, but we still need to know what he's at. Yeah, it would be 13. Hold on. Plus 53. So it would be have to be 66 points of damage. On just the poison? 60. Jewel. Oh my gosh. That's that's luck. <laughs> Look at his face. Emotional. <laughs> <laughs> Emotional <laughs> damage. <laughs> but the good news is you get away. You don't he don't he don't eat you. So oh, uh, that's good. You don't take that damage. I do now have to roll the acid damage for uh, the two who are in the stomach. So, so am I at a negative now? No, no, you, that doesn't. It's that just, only you just, just you're going to be making death saves now. Yeah, 
Okay. You won't be back in death saves for long. Here's where Ren dies. Maybe I should have used that bomb arrow. <laughs> this is the Sarlacc pit, but it can move. Max damage, baby. All right, Ren. Give it to me. Give it to me now. Ow, how, ow, how. Give it to me, baby. 22. 22? Yeah, and I'm going to roll. Now I got to roll for that poor bison that's in there with you. Does he, make it, does, he make it, does he make a save it all for that? Uh, no, you just you just take it every time. Okay. I wasn't, sure. I wasn't sure if he made like a con save or something to try. Yeah. Like, Rain goes thing? to sleep. <laughs> You passed out? Oh, yeah. Oh, bro, you about to... That's not good. <laughs> Daniel, you need to get in his mouth. There's a bison <laughs> walking his way. I know. You need to Believe get me, in I've his thought mouth. about it, and then the hey. bison got thrown up. Yeah. Hey. So with Misty Step, I have to see it, right? You can't carry people with you with Misty Step. I, but I was gonna say I want to misty step inside the thing and attack from there. <laughs> See, I could, I could. You would be restrained oh. and be at disadvantage the whole time. Yep, gotcha. That's why Ren's having the problem of like. Yo. Now, uh, now it's also Ren twenty-two damage. I'm sorry, it's also twenty-two damage on the bison, which puts him at negative twenty-one. He would have. He's he's got twenty-two hit points normally okay. so, so he's not dead fun. he's not dead but he's dead <laughs> saving throws um i did have a question for ren gosh this is nerve -wracking. Could, riley could you have used like your shadow step thing uh i have to see uh unoccupied space visualize it you have to <laughs> it's all it's all around you outside. The outside is unoccupied yeah. space. I mean, yeah, the outside is all in darkness. That was my the thought. The earth is unoccupied. Because it's night time. <laughs> I mean, I thought about it, but it says... Where is That's, it at? He's got young nightcrawler problems. Yeah. Young nightcrawler problems. As a bonus action, teleport up to six feet in an unoccupied space that you can see that is also in dim light or darkness. Gotcha. All right. I'm going to make a decision. Anyway. No, I don't know. I'm, do I want to do that? Oh, I'm sure. Okay. Come on, let's just go. Let's just let's just I'm, go. I'm, no, 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 no. I'm thinking if I want to try to make him move. Oh, gotcha. Um, oh, yeah. That would, that, would, I mean, that would make sense. Okay, yeah. So he's going to jump back down in, into that hole. And he's going to tunnel. Uh, he's really just going to tunnel to over here. Um, and come back on the other side of Ignolin. Uh, but that would get, well, uh, that'll give Slate and Rabaru. Actually, Rabaru just out. I guess it gives Slate an, an opportunity. And Trio. Trio will try to. Oh, yeah. Stream. And Trio. And Trio. Okay. So. I, I was trying to give people some some chances here, <laughs> so he. I'm gonna try to attack with the rapier, uh, let her sting, and we'll. Yep. Uh, does a twenty hit? Yes, sir. Okay. But I don't. Does the uh, advantage go to Slate or is it gonna go to me? For what? Because you said the next person that attacked. Uh. Oh, it would Slate go to Slate. Slate technically just attacks. So it would go to Slate. Slate will get that Slate. advantage. Oh, so I get... So yeah, I get you get advantage because the uh, trails help action from scratching and distracting. Um... No, uh, yeah. Uh, and then... Um, that will hit. Okay. Um... So, five piercing damage... And I need a con save. So I'm going to do eight damage. All right. Give me one second. I need a nat one here, baby. Nat one on this con save. Let me, let me do 
slate so I can focus on yours. That's fine. One um, minus eight. Doing math, y'all. I don't know if y'all noticed, but I suck at math. Um. All right. So you need a con save. Mm-hmm. Need a nat one, baby. What's uh, that? con is going. His con save. He's got a fourteen. Ah, okay. Doesn't take effect. But still takes the damage. So it doesn't right. ha- it doesn't half the damage. It's How much was the damage? Five. Uh, five. 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 All right. The Rebaro got a got an attack opportunity too. He's he's knocked out. He's knocked out. Oh, that's right. Uh, okay. So the answer to that is no. To all our listeners at home. Um Okay. Y'all still got a long way to go, broth. Mm-hmm. All Broth. Right. So that's the end of his turn. Ignolin. All right. I turn around. Turn, turn around. around. <laughs> um, I turn around and I leap, and I'm going to try to do the, the same thing. Go for um, it. All right. So. Okay. And you does, have advantage from the silvery barbs thing that I did, I think. Does a dirty 20 hit? Uh, Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. <laughs> I will roll damage in just a second because it's a lot of money. Okay. Uh, so, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and... Ooh. Ah. Don't think I want to take my second attack because that would mean I'd have to take the sword out and do it. Or can I do like... My second attack is like I twist it. Would that count as like a roll to hit? Uh, I don't know because you've already in there. Okay, so then I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, roll damage. So give me just a second to find the right die. Okay. My legs are like bouncing like crazy. This is the hardest fight we've had so far, and we fought an elephant. <clears throat> okay. Sorry, I'm just checking to see what's bonus action and what's not. <laughs> Because I think I can do a couple of things here. Okay, so I have I have one thing that says it's not listed as a bonus action. Like if I go click on action or bonus action, it's not there. It's under other. It's a special. So does that take anything? Does that take a bonus action or an action if it's under special? What does it say? Um, whenever I damage a creature, I can do this. Okay. So I'm I'm about to damage it. Basically, what I'm Wondering is why I still have my bonus action when that's done. Well, you still have your bonus action. You should. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Okay. I did, I he was. It. I'm sorry. He was nodding, so I was just letting that be the answer. Oh, no, sorry. Was, yeah. He's I'm waiting on, on me to page. answer. I'm on yeah, my I was. Wait, I didn't want to. Yeah, I didn't want to steamroll. But if no, you he was not, and I was like, and so, but I was like, yeah. oh, he's not. He's not paying yeah, attention. Not, so yeah, he's not paying attention. I, I'm on my I'm on my character. No, you're good. Sorry, no, you're good. You're good. Um, okay. So ah, uh, terrible damage rolls. Um I'm getting hot seven, out here. seven damage. Good lord. Seven uh piercing slash cold damage because I've got my ride of the frozen on it. Uh so I'm gonna stay hanging in there. Uh but while I'm in there, I am going to use brand of castigation. So I'm gonna sear it with a brand. I always know the direction. Oh, sh- castrate him. I, I always know the direction that he's gonna go, like wherever he's at. And then, whenever he, if he attacks me or a creature within five feet of me, he's gonna suffer for psychic damage. So All in right. the future, we just gotta remember that. All right. As my bonus action, I am going to use. Uh, no 
never mind. It's an action. Okay. Yeah. So that's all I can do. All right. Um. Okay. So what was the what would what did the damage come to? Seven. So Seven. I'm like I've got a I've got a sword stuck in its head and I'm kind of riding this this beast at this point. <clears throat> All right. Um, Zephyr. Okay. Um. So I'm gonna warp time to give myself an extra action, and I'm going to take out my sort of continuum and transport myself here. So I don't get an opportunity if that's against me. And then I'm going to cast Guiding Bolt at third level, fourth level. Awesome. That is 26 to hit. Okay. Just 26 to <laughs> so that's Yeah, seven, that'll do. That's 76 damage. Seven. Seventeen, twenty-two, twenty-five, and twenty-seven. So twenty-seven points of damage. Nope. Oh, I didn't roll there. I missed one. Um, thirty points of damage. So the first one was seven, and that one's thirty. No, 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 it was just 30 altogether because I was supposed to roll <clears throat> seven and I only and rolled an six extra. at one time. Yeah. Oh, so, oh, my bad. Let me change that then. And on my fourth level spell slot. Good job on that. All right. Yeah, well, good use. I'm going to cast because I did warp time, I can cast a spell again because I can use more than one spell slot in a turn. I'm going to cast it again at third level. <laughs> and I get advantage because I just hit with it the first time. Oh yeah, that's true. Uh, another 26. That works. Heck yeah. Alright, um... So 10, 15... G seventeen, nineteen, the uh, twenty-three and twenty-nine points of damage. Twenty-nine. Yeah. Nice. And whoever attacks it next turn has advantage. Wow, that's a lot of damage. What was that? Fifty-nine points of damage yeah. in a turn. Wow. Jeez. I almost I rolled I rolled a natural nineteen both times. Nice. You did a lot of damage. I'm just gonna tell you that. Um, That's a lot of damage. With all with all that that he just did, y'all hear that the thing lets out this guttural. Uh, I don't know. That's what noise came to mind. Oh, I was hoping that it would spit him out. Um, no. Uh, it has to get be. It has to be from within. Uh, uh, it has to take. Oh, that's the wrong creature. Uh, uh, it has to take thirty damage or more on a single turn in from inside. Mm. Gotcha. So, at this rate, that ain't gonna happen because the ones inside is knocked out. Yep. Um, I was hoping I was gonna make it throw it up, throw right. both of them up. Um, I guess it is going to be Slate's turn now. Mm -hmm. And, um, I don't know. I was thinking about doing that just same. Just kill it. Yeah, just do that. Just yeah. do it. Just kill it. Just do it, bro. You can do that. Crit it's on not, it. It's not that hard. Why just kill not? it. Why not? Send your mage hand inside it. <laughs> and just pull them out. Yeah. <laughs> um...
I don't even know if Slate has May Cain. I'm, I'm, I hate that. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm thinking of Skeleton. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm trying to be smart here. Um, who is behind, who's behind me in line? Like after uh, in, in initiative? Uh, Sean. Sean. Me. Yeah. Uh, Sean is our damage dealer. Yeah, between between me and Zephyr, we got this junk cornered as far um, as damage goes. But there's a there's a you so whoever attacks next gets an, an advantage, correct? Um so I may not attack. Well then it carries over to the next person. Exactly. Also that's what I'm um, saying. That's why I may not attack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can buff. Also you could just cast suggestion and tell them to throw them up. It has to have a certain intelligence score for that, doesn't it? Yeah. Uh, let's I'll see. So. Let, me, let me check it. <clears throat> I think it's a bonus. Is that bonus action? No, it's just a, it's an action. It's an action. Where are you, Christmas? Why can't I? There's. Uh, where's suggestion? There Second you are. level spell. There you are, yeah. Um, I mean, it'll have to take a wisdom saving throw, and it's pretty... It is pretty good at wisdom, but it could also fail. Uh, I mean, I can do it. I mean, it ain't no ain't no thing. What would Slate it, do? Well, yeah, I about to say... No, I mean, it, 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 at, at this point, Slate is trying to find something to do uh, to, bonus not, action. To, not hit, to not attack it. Bonus action, use that uh, thing where you, whatever it is, cutting, not cutting words, but yeah, the, the cutting thing. The, is that what, what it is? Yeah. It's just mockery. No, it's cutting words. The cutting bonus words. Where, where you use your inspiration die to subtract from a saving throw, and then you use suggestion. Who, who to... did the last saving? I cast that on. Somebody had that, right? Did anybody get that? What did I, get? I would have gotten it on my uh, my big damage dealing thing. I don't remember. But you what. rolled you rolled way above it, so it yep. wouldn't have mattered. All right, so we'll do that. We'll say because I'm trying not, I'm trying to keep him from actually hitting, which I was going to hit. Now I'm deciding we're not going to hit. Um, so I had to change my plan. Um, we'll do bonus action. Uh, we'll do the unsettling word, that's what which, it's yeah, unsettling word, um, which will be, you know, that's one, that's one D eight. That's another bardic. That's my third bardic inspiration. Yeah. Third bardic. Um, and so then I'll cast, uh, I gotta roll down and find it again. Sorry guys. Suggestion. Uh, second level. Yeah, um, I have. I keep clicking the wrong button. Um, suggestion. Gonna suggest you do something, sir. All right. Um, he's got to make a wisdom save and throw. I'm like, hey, worm, spit up my bison and friend. Casting this. Um. And he did not. Um, what I'm gonna, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. Did I'm gonna roll. Succeed? He did yeah. not succeed. Should I roll twice since I'm, since I'm making him spit up two things? No, I mean, I think he's just throw uh, up. It sounds if, like, I mean, the, you managed if, to word that yeah. command that way, yeah. sir. Yeah, if right. the command is spit them up, then you, it, it would spit up everything. That's All what right. the so. Says. You can also, yep. All right, so um, he'll spit both of them out. So he turns. So that, he says that, and the worm is going to turn, and he just goes, <gasps> and both of them will land. I'm gonna move you here. Um, I can't really move the bison, but. They're gonna both be right here, and he's in this. He's full. He's covered in that in the 
acid and gross like pussy looking nastiness okay as he just it just strings from his mouth <laughs> all right all right so that I, i'm that's gonna be my turn and a sean uh we need a death save from ren and a death save from Robaru. actually that won't matter because i'm gonna fix it on my turn so i mean yeah it won't matter it won't matter i'm fixing it right now so um oh yeah that's right yeah but it's okay um i see ren pop out and like i make some light baby. i make some light surround him and Rin, you get you pop up with five, nine, eleven health points. Eleven health. Use alive. He's alive. He's alive. That was my bonus action. And then I'm gonna have Triel fly. Also, yeah, I was gonna say you're muted. Uh, I'm gonna have Triel fly over to Rabaru. And I'm going to use Triel's reaction and my action to cast Cure Wounds on Rabaru. Uh, which I believe is my last first level. What's, it, what's that give me? That's what I got to roll for you. Give me the, give me the, give me the. It'll be a D8. Take that eight. It'll be a D8. Uh, plus, did you roll an eight? Oh, do I need to roll? I mean, no, I rolled roll. six, six plus five, 11. Same I'll amount. Take it. Um, cool. Yeah. So you're not dead anymore. Um, so I'm, I'm currently at 11. Correct. Yep, you're at 11. Yay. Right. Ren's at 11. Um, can I do anything else? Oh, Fred. Okay, I'll have to do that later. Um, yeah. That'll be it for me. Uh, I'm going to back up a little bit, though. Okay. Because <clears throat> it's like... So you're little... not... So you're actually not attacking, right? I'm not attacking because it was more beneficial to get them up and alive. <laughs> All right. So... So it's going to be Purple Worm's turn? Uh, yeah. Y'all want me to do what the Purple Worm would do? Whatever the Purple Worm would do. Mm -hmm. Let me just roll it, and then I'll tell y'all. Um, that would be a 15. I was going to try to eat Ren again. Um, <laughs> but if, does a 15 hit Ren? Let me check. No. Is that a nat one? Yeah. It does not. Oh, then it doesn't misses regardless. It doesn't matter well, what, what the plus is. <clears throat> you know. It's an I just want to make sure here. <laughs> now the stinger. Doesn't matter if it's a plus eight or a plus eighteen. No, I wasn't going to sting this time. He was okay. just trying. He was just trying to eat literally. Get like back was, in my mouth. Yeah. Yes. Um. Yes. I didn't want to throw you up. Oh, wait a second. <laughs> um. Who's next? Let's go. That would be the Ignilin. Who's on its back and now has advantage. Because of uh, Zephyr's attack. Oh yeah, dude! Nobody's hit. That's crazy. It was strategy, man. It's like I planned this. It's like I planned this. <laughs> it's like we all collectively <laughs> planned this. Dude, it's like I love Ren was secretly the fact the that warp mind. time gives me the ability to cast Bro, two spell slots crazy. within the same turn. I still have, and I get to do that four times for long rest. Come on, fellers. So. Wow. Mild broken. We still got some hit points to go. Say here. Mild broken. To... I said mild broken. <laughs> so I'm I'm holding on with one hand. I've got it, you know, holding on to my uh, katana that's you know. Ring -a -ring -a -ring. Right, right, 
cowboy, whatever. <laughs> I'm going to bite my other hand, draw blood, pull my so dagger. <clears throat> um, and on this one, I'm going to have... <laughs> I'm going to have <laughs> uh, lightning damage. Uh, I'm going to do my lightning damage, crimson right. Let me Just pull extract my hit points. Uh, okay. Uh, and now I'm going to stab it again with my dagger. You stab that. So roll to hit. With advantage. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. All right, that's a 24. Does that hit? Yeah. All right, 24 hits. So, uh, let's see. I need a... Hmm. This song reminds me of Hook. I can just, see that. Just tell me what the, the final damage is. Well, okay, real quick. So, uh, since I have... Since I have extra attack, does that count for a cantrip? A uh, cantrip is just just an action. Yeah. Okay. okay. If it's an if you if the cantrip is an attack, then I would. No, 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 no. no there are no. special abilities. It, it, yeah, 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 yeah. It's melee attack. Okay. Attacks, okay. Right? So yeah, all right, attack. I've I've hit you once with the I've hit, hit the once. dagger again. Yeah, I've hit once with the dagger. Hit him once with a dagger. Hit him again with eighteen. Uh, the hit, yeah, just hits. All right, so I hit both. All right. So. This song is like, now I come back to you at the turn of the tide. Hmm. Welcome back to playing D&D, guys. It's a good day. From our Chris long butt Christmas break that we took. Christmas and New Year and my our, birthday. Our what? Mm -hmm. Our Chris Long. 20, 22, 22 damage. Is that what you heard? Yeah, that's what he said. He said, welcome back to, from our Chris Long, Chris Long butt, long butt break. Like, break up that bad? What was you trying to say, man? I said from our long butt Christmas break. <laughs> How much All was right. it? 22. 22 damage. All together? Yep. Nice, nice. Now we're talking. Is that your turn, Ignolin? That is my turn. I'm still... Just, yeah. Right Warp right time. I'm warping. Again. And I'm going to send my... What, this right here to hit this. The spiritual weapon thing? Yeah, spiritual yeah. weapon. My, my this do. right here. This right here. Did Natural 20. Heck yeah. Freaking um, crits, baby. Nice. Dude, my rolls tonight. Wait, is that the same one from earlier? Huh? When did you cast that? I cast it earlier. I it earlier. I hit it with it earlier. Oh, okay. I'm not sure it wasn't the same one from when we was all trying, when we was spinning the bottle. Huh? No. That's, that was a different thing. I forgot you had cast it again. I was thinking I was thinking it was when we spun the bottle. No, that was this one. <laughs> All right. Um so six and a five. Do I I don't double the plus four, right? Uh no, no, no. only okay. the dice. Not, so fifteen damage. Fifteen. Yes. All right. All right. So um I'm now going to um, cast Beacon of Hope on everybody that I, that I like in this area. <laughs> um, so, because it said... It Sorry, doesn't have a, <laughs> <laughs> It doesn't have a number of people. It says, bestows hope and vitality, choose any number of creatures within range. So, yeah, so what's the, what's the range? 30 feet. 30 feet? Yep. So that would get that's everybody. Oh yeah, that is everybody. everybody. Including um, Rubaru. Including yep. Rubaru. Um, gets, gets what? It gets uh so you get advantage on wisdom saves, um, and death saving throws. Ooh. Um, and you regain 
um, maximum cure, maximum uh, healing. So, let me go over here. <laughs> Sorry, Bar. And I'm gonna cast Cure Wounds on on uh, Ren at second level. So that means he gets 16 plus four, so he gets 20 health points back. Nice. Oh, for a second, I thought everybody um, no, was gone Riley, for a second. Riley's excited because he's not dying anymore. He's not died. We pulled him back from the literal brink. I'm not going to lie, Caleb. Had you not done the suggestion thing, he was going to roll a death save, potentially fail, and then that poison was going to hit him on that thing's turn and Which do auto automatic, yep. automatic two. Yep. And he would have been immediately dead. By the way, Odin has Beacon of Hope on him too. And anyone that casts oh. healing... Hey, hang on, let me make sure it doesn't say spell, but healing period. I think it's just whenever you get healed, maybe. Maximum numbers of number of hit points. Yeah. From any any healing. Nice. It doesn't have to be a spell. Now you have points for your healing light, though, right? Yeah, but I, it'll still do max. It'll do six every time instead of me rolling a d6. Okay. Uh, is that the end of your turn? Mm. Mm. Yes, yes. This is my turn. So. Yes, yes. Yes, yes, Caleb. All right, so Slate's turn. Uh, let me look at the map real quick before I make my decision. <laughs> um. Okay, that would hurt people. Um, so what if okay. I, what if I do a phantasmal force? What if you did? And he has to roll and he didn't. Okay. So he had to roll an intelligence that rolled in. Let me check is failed. Okay. Um, what are you phantasmal against? Oh, what's a worm I scared of fire? Well, fire, I, I did birds. fire bird. I thought about a bird, but I don't know if I can make a big enough bird that it would matter. Oh, yes, you could. You could do anything. You could do a rock. It's, it's all in its in its head. It's in a ten foot. It's got to be in a ten foot cube, though. Uh, I guess. I guess that could. Uh, but if I took up a t uh, he technically he what only takes up like ten feet. So if I took a, put a bird there that took up ten feet, that's, that's a pretty big old bird. Yeah, it's a rock. Right. So, it might be a baby rock, but it's still like enough to eat it. So um that's what I'm just gonna do. It's gonna be as a bird. It's gonna be as a bird. Bam, y'all. Uh it's a bird. And it's, it's a bird. And he's gonna take some damage. Not much, but he's gonna take some and it's gonna help. Okay, and okay, six damage. We're chipping away at it. Yeah, uh, we're chipping away at it. Yeah, I'm not much. I'm not a damage dealer. I'm a, I'm a friend. Buff. I'm a friend. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <coughs> I tell nice stories about how you're a bird and stuff. All right. If you're a bird. So, I'm a bird. All right, Ringelette. It's your turn. You can do stuff uh, now. Uh, Swing away. Oh my gosh. Um, so, the bar rolled a quarter staff damage. <laughs> <laughs> what? It just said Rabari rolled quarter staff damage. <laughs> Why is it still coming up? You probably have a dice out on your DD Beyond. It it's happened hilarious. like how long ago? It's the same one. It says 1135. Okay. I didn't see it. I, it just it just gave me a notification because I'm on a different screen. Nice. Because I'm tracking the back, the combat. Go ahead. Um. Uh, just because I can. Because Ren I can. teleports to be right there. And if you can see the map, you know where that is. That gives you yes, advantage. You if you're on podcast, 
sorry it's just a cool spot um, the other side yeah oh, kind of and then I'm, I'm just gonna like do my thing where i like attack a lot and hopefully get a lot of damage in yeah that teleports a bonus action by the way so you get the two attacks instead of the four So I get what attacks instead of four? You don't get flurry. You don't get flurry. You only get the normal two regular attack and extra attack. Because your bonus action is Could the I? shadow thing. But you also get really? an advantage on that first attack. Because of the shadow thing. Yes. Yes, indeed. It did no good whatsoever. <laughs> With on the first, on the first swing. And then... Uh, Quick math. Uh, 20 to hit. Out of day. And I will. I will, I, will, day. I will hit four. Give me a second. Hold on. Wait a minute. Stop. Stop. All right. Eight points of damage. Eight? Yep. Eight. Just, just eight. And then uh, I guess I'll do a singular punch. No, you don't have a bonus action. Oh, uh, so all. okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Never mind. So I, yeah, I do that, and then I'm, I just stand oh, yeah, there. Yeah, do that. Okay. I just I stand there like this. <laughs> just square up. Come at me, bro. All you right. kill my buffalo, I kill you. All right. So, is that any of your turn? Um, I breathe real intense because I just like almost died, and then that's it. That's okay. the end of my turn. Rebellious. Excuse me. Ribaru yawns. Oh my goodness! All right, as he is uh, waking up from his momentary slumber. He realizes that they are still fighting this giant worm. And so he flies south for the winter. Yes. And does he need to recast Hunter's Mark since he mm -hmm. passed out? It doesn't say anything mm -hmm. about it. Okay. Yeah. yeah. You would have All lost right. concentration. So you lost your, yeah. I was going to say you lost your concentration. All right. Well, he's going to recast it. All right. And then he is going okay. to, he is not playing around. He's, he's firing the bomb arrow. With Eaglin on the back? Just I, gut I, hit I, it. I pray for him. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Just gut hit him. <clears throat> How much of the worm is exposed? The whole worm. How big is the worm? <clears throat> Long. Long. Long size. Okay, hold on a second. I might need to re reassess this. All right, he's not going to do the bomb arrow because er there are people within five feet radius. Ribaru takes the <clears throat> bomb arrow out and he looks at it for a moment and then he puts it back. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. He's like, That's his uh, probably need to wait on this one. <laughs> he's, he does, he's, as he starts to. He looks up and he, he sees that there's people around. He sees Ignolin hanging off the back of it. And he's like, ah, crap. Exactly. <laughs> I lost my chance. <laughs> so he's drawing an arrow. Does you, the 17 hit? No. Okay. I'm assuming a 24 will hit. Correct. <laughs> All right. Which one's the eight again? There we go. Eleven damage. Yeah, eleven damage total. And how do you want to do this? Yeah. Uh, okay. That was he a lot of damage we just dealt. He misses the first, or well, 
Does it? Do you? Would it have hit the worm and like ricocheted off? Um, the first arrow that did that. Yeah, I mean, I don't know that it would. In have. his anger, he draws another, pulls back, aims right, right for the eyeball. There's no yeah, eyeball. None. Oh, that's right. Aims right for the throat <laughs> and releases. When all three oh. jaws open, it goes <laughs> right in the throat. Okay. Y'all watch as he fires this and it takes, boom, it, stop, it freezes for a moment. Y'all don't know what's going on. Y'all don't know if it's, if it's swallowing the arrow, if it's about to attack again. And then it like curls around and swings around, boom, boom before it collapses to the ground. Yes, that was ground with a T on the end. Ground. Right. Um, and it Rats is. Down. Slout. It is de- deceased. It is gaunt. Um, and a, nobody revived the, the buffalo, did they? I'm, I literally was about to say I'm going to walk over yeah. to. It hasn't been my turn wounds. yet again. So. Um, so we're out we'll be out of initiative at this point um slate gonna go over there and like try to make sure that it's dead he does not really know what to do because <laughs> it's so big I, he's gonna start like sawing at it with this with his rapier <laughs> anybody want to try to help uh, uh can we collect anything off of it do what? Her to hold Odin's head in his lap. Odin's awake, isn't he? If you did, you cat? What'd you? Yeah, he he he, he gets oh. he automatically gets twelve hit points back because um, beacon of hope is still up. I mean, but me and him have both been through some crap, and we're probably covered in real gross Acid. saliva. Yeah, just like man, we've been through so much um, mucus and just gross. Sean's just gonna basically. Um, go up to this thing's head and just continuously through his staff, just Eldritch Blast machine gun it into the head until its head is destroyed. Just oh, to make, we'll just just like, to make we'll sure. step back when you do that. Okay, you got this. Just to make sure. <laughs> just, I'll just walk up here. If we're trying to like look inside it to see if it has anything valuable, I'm helping. Um, There's yeah. nothing inside yeah, of it. I imagined. That's what I was thinking. Rebaro... Is gonna come over to the uh, the Flyson and uh, where where is he at? As far as hit points, twelve. I'm gonna, I'm gonna he's gonna cast a cure wounds on him. Baru has healing spells. Yeah, yeah. cure wounds. What level? Yeah. Is that? he can do that. He cure gives wounds. him nine. Cure no, 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 no. It? Ryan, what what level did you cast it at? One it's first level first one. one. Okay, so he gets. Tw- uh, what is uh, it's one d eight plus what on your end? Plus two. So he gets um nine ten, ten. because beacon of beacon of hope gives max yeah. healing. Oh, okay. From, from anybody, not just from okay. Me, not well, from he gets ten. I know well, one big point matters. So he's well, he's so he's back to full. Then. <laughs> That's there you go. funny. Um, he's in better shape than Ren is. And right. and then he's gonna look over to Ren and ask him how he's doing. Um, so, hold on, hold on, hold on. how are you doing? <laughs> uh, huh. if I were to like put it like this is gonna sound crazy, but if like we had stats, right, <laughs> I would probably be like about 20 points away from max health right now. That's how I feel. Like, if I were just, just to be creative off the dome describing how I feel right now, that, that would be really close. Rabaru puts his hand on his shoulder. And cast wounds on him as well. Level one. Cast wounds. You said that's max, correct? Yeah, max. So he gets ten more. I mean, that was pretty good. It was a full, like, all the way there, but we're, I appreciate that. And then I'm going to go over to Rebaru and cast Cure Wounds at level two. On him. <laughs> so you get... I'm going to uh, cast Cure Wounds. 20 hit points back. No, but Riley, you can do that, like, healing like concentration thing 
I mean, I can cast healing yeah, but word, but I'm just everybody else is casting everybody cure else wounds. Is doing it. We should be good. I want to cast cure wounds like everybody else. I want to fit in. <sighs> so, Slate is going to walk over to Ribaru, and he's going to reach deep into the bag, and he's going to pull something out. He's going to put it. He's going to like do like this for Ribaru. And Ribaru is done to take it. Yes. So take it. And um, it is one of the rings. And he says, he's going to say, I think you earned this. Ribaru is just staring at it, not really knowing what to say at this moment. Because he was present during that whole meeting, correct? Mm-hmm. Yeah. He's just looking down and staring at it. Speechless. Did you say speak to us? Speechless. Speechless. Oh, speechless. 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 So I think that we should um, maybe go to the closest town and get our cart fixed. And we go as a team to... um, this trial. Let's do it. it. Rabaro looks up at Slate and says, do you really mean it? I wouldn't have given that to you if I didn't. Rabaro gives Slate a hug and then looks around and says, anyone else? I've never pulled this. You got a lot of feathers. This. <laughs> I think we need to get uh, going. Just hopefully, there's not more than one of these things. I agree. Let's let's leave. Um, that was enough. Anyone who didn't get their rest, anyone, anyone who didn't finish their, who maybe didn't get all their rest or anything, might need to uh, rest in the back of the cart. Yeah. Short or long? <laughs> you, yeah. to, to get the rest of your long rest. Yeah, be the rest of your long rest. Uh, Which we all need to we all need to get probably a long rest at this point. Can um, Rabaru go collect his arrows? Arrows. Arrows. <laughs> well you, you can't get the one out of the back of the throat. No, but I can grab at least the other three, right? In, any of the others that yeah. Right. Okay. Um, the, so we are going to have to figure out how to get this cart going we could probably to make Ren, it work Ren's got tools it's true um, Ren could probably patch it up at least to get us to the point of being able to get it to the next town alright um, and I can use some magic to help I don't know how but I could I think I can use some magic to help hold on well let's it's actually still pretty late because it was nighttime it was during the second watch yeah but if we're leaving now uh it's still gonna be dark are we gonna wait here with this dead corpse what are the chances of another one of these things showing up that's a question yeah i don't know I say we need to move just yeah. in case. I, I will help any way I can to pull the cart. I think we all need to we need to try to secure the cart in any way we can with, with rope should, or anything. Yeah, we, we have plenty of rope. So um, it's really just the But that's not gonna be as as steady. We might have to walk. Cart. We Might need not to make be able- this cart more resilient. Um, it's been broken many times. Been broken twice. <laughs> one time by a giant boulder, been, and one time yeah. by a giant worm. So yeah. <laughs> we need to stay away from giant stuff. Giant giants in this cart and bison do not go together. Yeah. Um, Did you when you say that, um, Odin goes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, could I? Oh, 
could I, with the help of Ren, uh, power of friendship, and <laughs> yes, friendship is magic. Um, um, Whatever him, is done, I cast guidance. Him fixing up it a little bit, and then us patching some uh dirt around it and me using mold earth to harden the dirt kind of like glue um, it's just like kind of make it a little bit more sturdier so we could potentially get to the next town it yeah, obviously uh, won't hold forever but it would be you know like st- make it a little bit more substantial dm is it probably like the i'd imagine it's more so like the front of the cart that's messed up like yeah it's the not the whole cart can yeah, we that's what I'm use saying. Just the Rabaru's cage to use that as something to secure, and then use rope to kind of brace the, it. The well, the cage is secured to the side. If we take it off, yeah, you can try. I mean, it's gonna take. It'll take a while, and I'm not sure how would you what you would do to. You'd have to. You'd essentially have to take it off of the side and somehow dismantle it to re. To oh, okay, it. might take okay. more time. So it's like yeah. built onto the cart. Right. Yeah. Oh, I thought it was just the. Because they took it off at the camp. Um, it it was not really meant to be. This, it it wasn't. It was not golf at the camp. Okay. Yeah. So I it think was us just fastened. doing that little Sorry. quick fix job and using the dirt to hold it together will at least get us going. We'll move kind of slow, still, so it doesn't pull apart as easy. But um, I don't know if if that's if that's cool with you or if we need to roll something to do that or what uh you're you're trying you talking about with the dirt yeah and like with, i don't even with, with with nature. Ren, so with ren fixing it up and like I want reattaching you to, some stuff and then me using this to kind of harden it a little bit more i want you to roll on uh a nature but with <coughs> end up with um advantage since he's helping kind of uh ooh, 18 plus what's my nature Two, dirty twenty. Okay, it it you're able to to create something that holds, but it's not going to hold for long. Yeah. Um, and any kind of a rain that y'all go through would probably not help at all. It's probably going to melt it, um, because it's it's working like a glue. It's it's hardened, but it's it's like I don't even know what to call it. It's that stuff that's that you can make, but when it gets wet, it crumbles apart it's kind of like that Mm -hmm. and um after i'm going to say it's going to probably take y'all a couple of hours to get something sturdy enough to to pull yeah um, once and and everything um yeah that's fine so it's going to be early morning as y'all set off um and i'm going to imagine y'all probably have lanterns and everything out so that we can kind of follow along the trail mm-hmm. as we ride toward in the same direction we were going and we'll eventually there is a we'll pass a sign that it's one of those signs that has the arrows that uh and it tells you how far towns and things are um it's got a couple of different ones uh, Zerata being one of them, but it's further off. The closest one is Rax, and it's just slightly in a slightly to the right. So we'll come, and you'll see like a, a road to the right. You can go that that direction to kind of go toward Rax, and that will be the closest city. Okay, yeah, let's let's everybody go with heading there to get everything fixed up. Yep, I don't think yeah. we have much of a choice. Yeah. All right, to Rax. To Rex. Last time we took a detour to a town. Tourette's. <laughs> we Sorry. almost got in a fight with two old men and people went to prison. Yeah, can so we not do let's that? Let's not do that this time. Everybody, like, don't be. Who a... would fight old people? Uh, yeah. That's Slate just looks over at Ran like this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I was just want you to know I am very disappointed in you, Ren. I just want you to know I was dead for the whole thing, so I was that that is disturbing. (laughs) And they stole my body. People came and took my body. Yep. And as they ride off with this conversation, we will cheers out. We'll bid adieu to our listeners and watchers. Thank y'all. And thank y'all for coming back, guys. Enjoyed our first game back from our break. It was fun. Goodbye.
Thank you.